That's all black. Because that's the color of the chat window. When names show up, they'll be colored in this. Um, you can change it like later when there's a better setup. Oh, I don't know you. I don't know how to. Or it's wait, brand wait, new. Wait, wait, well, do wait, I need to? Wait, wait, wait. What? Let's try it. Let's try it. Okay. Ah, what is that? Oh, okay. And then text color can just be like Ah, oh, Jesus. that looks horrible. Where's the... Stop ruining it. Well, there's there's clearly like a stroke on it. Because you see, it's like black. Yay, oh, hi, Allie. That's fine with the black. Yeah, no, the white looks fine. <laughs> the white? No, well, no, what oh, you had. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Woo! Hi, hi, heart cliff. Okay. Oh. Wait, no. What did you do? You want it to stay. Well, you break Always it. Always show messages. What message? Say. Ah! ah! What are you doing? Melissa's fucking everything up as per usual. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> the text you color is. I'm gonna make this blah, like blah, a blah. pink because it's like a little strange. Okay. Is that a. That's a weird pink. No, no, no. Go to, like, the red pink. Oh, that's true. Like, the, yeah, the, the better pink. Like the weird skin pink? I don't know. Like human flesh pink? <laughs> <laughs> no, that that's gross. Come on. Vagina pink. Okay. <laughs> How's that? That's fine. I, it looked fine before. Okay. All right, there we go. That's fancy. Uh, <laughs> it was funny because we were we realized that today is is that working? We realized that today is 420, so we were like, should it be Chloe? But then we're like, no. Instead of blazing it, we're gonna praise it. <laughs> we need Kate Marsh on this day yeah. of all days. <laughs> <laughs> it's 420. Kate Marsh needs to be in the house. What? I have to start with this one. All right. Or actually, at least I want to. Okay. We're just going to wait a little bit while Melissa gets ice cream and coffee, apparently. So, how's everybody doing? Oh, that was fast. <laughs> Yay. Edit this a little bit so that it's not. Hey, what up, Tidal Waves? That it slides in. Oh my god. Because it looks good. It's your favorite. Mm -hmm. I, lost. Twitch. I think this is what I have. Okay. Because it just does whatever. Okay. Old school. Oh, God. Whoa. No. Chunky. Okay. Custom. God damn it. Custom is too fancy. Okay. You want to stick with clean? Yeah, that's fine. All right. Oh, cool! Love the new name. I don't like that it slides in. It doesn't matter, it looks fine. Ugh, right, Why don't you just fine. change it from the sliding in one then? I think it's supposed to be like. Twitch. Twitch. Yeah, Twitch is. There you go, that's fine. Hi, Pinku! Actually, what, what do you think? I don't know. You're spending too much time on the chat, is what I. Holy shit. <laughs> make, it, <laughs> make it bigger. <laughs> oh, okay. Got it. Tie. You want, you want it to be bigger? What? I want, it, I want one letter to take up the whole chat box. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> what? <laughs> you made this chat box? Melissa's like, just so big. <laughs> wow. Fucking with the chat for literally no reason. <laughs> wow. Like... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> there, just put it. No, no, that's like too big. This? Okay, there. No, smaller. Smaller? Ooh, they're gonna replace Andrew Jackson with Harriet Tubman. Yay, okay. Harriet Tubman. What do you think of this? Yeah, it looks fine. It looked fine like 10 hours no, ago. This is important. Look, <laughs> look at it next to the stream. <laughs> okay, wait. Wait, what are we gonna turn? Okay, how's that? 
That's the current. Yeah, it was fine. It looked fine before. Well, actually, now it should be bigger. Oh my god. You want? Now it's too oh tiny. Bigger? Now it's like nano. Guys, okay. guys what? this is really important. What? They've released the first of the Sailor Moon Funkos. <sighs> Mariah's really excited about the Sailor Moon Funkos. How about this? And I need for it. It's a Hot Topic exclusive that ha includes a Luna with a band-aid on her head, and I want it. Come closer to the microphone. How's that? Yeah, that looks I good. That's perfect. fine. It looked fine. That's perfect. Ten years ago. All right, what are we doing now? Now play the game. Okay, oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> He's such an asshole. Okay. Cool. Yay. Thanks, everybody, for joining. Um, wow. All right, cool. Ooh. Demon Crashers. Yeah. It's time. I know, only weeb shop at Hot Topic. I'm a, fuck, I'm a fucking weeb. I'm trash. Mariah is actually garbage Thai, so don't mind her. <laughs> Let's start ah. the shit. No, it's no one. It's the wind. Oh, the wind opened the door. He's literally yeah. sitting next to me. Oh, oh, you could put his bed in front of the door. Can I do that? No. I have to get ice cream. We're, no tutorial. You... <laughs> I might have to get ice cream. I couldn't possibly put a dog bed in front of the door. It would just be too difficult to move. Ugh. Insert groan here. Excuse me. We're gonna get up because Kate Marsh appreciates tidiness and punctuality. Whoa, the door closed itself. It's the, the door was keep, like, keep that's the preciousness it's inside. It's gonna keep blowing open and shut like no, the it's, whole time. It's you know Kate's that. god powers, and she knows <laughs> that we're about to fuck shit up. Oh my god. Seriously, Reese, protect Kate Marsh, always. Mm -hmm. I guess I'd better get up. The air is a little chilly as I push the covers off, and one glance in my mirror you is enough we'll to- warm you up? Kate Marsh. Kate Marsh's fucking ethereal sun glow <laughs> that just constantly follows her around. <laughs> She's just like, you'll be warm in this patch of sunlight generated by me. Same. Yep. <laughs> Step one. Oh, okay. Uh, let me change that. Thanks for letting me know, Pinku. What's wrong? What the fuck up? Uh, the no, 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 no. Don't change that. Yeah, music volume. No, 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 no but it's, that's always been okay. Just change it on Twitch. Uh, what does that mean? No, okay. Let me, let me do it. Let Hi, do Free it. Bagels. I don't... Oh, look, we see a picture of Max. She's like, don't fuck with these settings. You don't know what you're doing. I just saw the drawing you posted to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> so that. Why does it sound like nothing is... Is that the... Well, because the our speakers aren't on. I know, but this is for the game. Yeah. No, we should see, like, a little bar here. You ruined it. I didn't Broke it. everything. Is the... Does the music sound a little better? Uh, we can't hear the music at all. Uh -oh. So, you. Oh, the game crashed. <laughs> you, it's like you I'm stopping up. this train before it starts. <laughs> Wait, did the whole stream crash? No, 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 no. Just the the stream is still going. You just have to start the game again. Oh, okay. God. The game's like, I know what you're doing. Yeah, I know what's going to happen. <laughs> and I do not approve. The game is not a proof of sin. Kate's like, you got early. To, you got up early to fuck shit up. <laughs> You ruined every- Okay, oh, Winrar, God, like, let's calm Winrar's down. Winrar's like- Winrar's like- Somebody please buy me! <laughs> Someone! Do I open this? Yeah. That's the game. It is a sign. <laughs> 420, praise it. Yeah, just so you know. okay. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. is, is it- Yeah, that's it, that's going. Is it showing the- uh -huh. oh, Okay, cool. It's working. Disclaimer, don't even fucking try, you guys. <laughs> I know what you're gonna do and stop it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Essentially, that's that's basically what's happening, Pinku. Yes. Also, uh, let us know if the audio is fixed or if the music is yeah. still too loud. You can't. It, yeah. It like destroyed itself. <laughs> can't do anything, the so. tornado came. <laughs> We're gonna get up for Kate. Kate's like, you're gonna have to get used to getting up at five for mass, so your ass better be up. <laughs> In other words, it's a typical morning for me. Someone's playing music. The people that I share a dormitory with are worse than roosters. Whoa.
Can you imagine? Max is just like, I would prefer listening to five roosters <laughs> simultaneously crowing <laughs> instead of your shitty music. Data. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Thanks, Clef. And I shouldn't make it a habit to be late to class anyway. I stretch out, yawning, as I make my way to the window to feel the sunlight on my skin, provided by Kate. Kate's just standing outside my door. <laughs> Do you need some sunlight, Max? Here. Take some of mine. <laughs> Lisa seems to be enjoying it, too. She's grown like crazy over the past year. My mom would be so proud. Wow. A whole year already. It's hard to believe that I've been at Blackwell for that long. I'm so glad that I came back to Arcadia Bay and not just for Blackwell Academy, although I'd be lying if I said that wasn't a huge part. I like Seattle, but it never really felt like home. Hmm. Arcadia Bay is the place I grew up in. The place where it, I made... read all of this. Well, I don't know if people are watching it and they want to, like, read it. Are we skip? Do you Listen. want me to skip? Listen. I can skip it. Kate's got to get going. I know. <laughs> 420, <laughs> praise it. We we debated going, well, should we do Chloe? Because yeah, it's her day. Like... But then we are like, no. Yeah. Kate. Kate's too powerful. Also, does anybody... Do, do do people want me to skip the beginning? Because Melissa's like, we've already read this part, and then I'm like... I want you all to know that this is also my parents' wedding anniversary, and my parents are exactly the people you would expect to have a wedding anniversary on Excuse me, Mariah, did we ask? <laughs> <laughs> also, your parents' wedding anniversary taking place on 420 is actually the most appropriate thing for your fucking hippie parents. <laughs> I don't want to sell Seattle short, of course. I've lived there for five long years. I really do miss my friends there and my parents. I was so glad to see them this summer. But I know that coming back here was the right choice for me. I'm technically an adult now. Your ass is math and I'm gonna frequent that. <laughs> That's amazing. For three hours at a time. <laughs> And my knees will get really uncomfortable. <laughs> She's gonna frequent that on her knees. Yes. Those little fucking uh, church benches were so uncomfortable. Slow climb. <laughs> All right. Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna go to the most important parts of this stream. If you haven't seen the beginning, feel free to play it yourself and or check out uh, our other playthroughs because we read all this stuff in the last ones. Oh my god, I can't believe how gorgeous every girl at my school is. I want to fuck all of them, but sadly I can't. But can't I? Because I'm in a Love is Strange virtual novel. Oh god, like she's so fucking gorgeous. I love them. Oh my god, my teacher's a hot dog. That's so fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! I can't forget my bag, and I don't want to forget my camera either. I'm glad that it managed to survive this long. It's really old and not in a cute faux vintage way. It's legit ancient. But that's what I wanted, a total timelessness to my photos. As I slide my camera into my bag, I look at the little dough pin that Kate gave me a few days ago. It's a warm bronze color. She said that she found it in a bookshop in Portland and that she thought I would like it. I do, but I'm just flattered that she thinks of me at all. Ooh. Oh, snap, Kate and Max. Kate was in Portland? Of course she's <laughs> fucking gay. Well, I think if you ever set foot in Portland, you're at least, like, 30% gay at that point. Oh, look, Victoria Chase is so fucking fierce. She posted a selfie, and she's, like, so gorgeous. And I totally fucked her in an alternate universe. Ready for the mosh pit, shaka bra. Rachel Amber gave me a gay bracelet. It was beautiful. My journal. Yay. I love writing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Actually true. Wow, Dana like plays so much fucking music. She's so crazy. I knock on Kate's door. I'm a little sad I missed out on her <laughs> usual. <laughs> Yay! Uh, on her usual morning violin playing. Not that I would have heard much of it over Dana's music. <laughs> Dana, I want to listen to Kate play her beautiful fucking violin, and you're ruining everything. <laughs> I'm just picturing like young Frankenstein esque like. God damn it, Mariah! Always. You say that every single time we get I know. to this part. Kate is from. <laughs> it, do it doesn't surprise me that I can smell weed because it's 4:20. Oh my God, Victoria, you're so beautiful. Uh, we should still talk to everybody, right? Yeah. 
We're gonna talk to everybody just in case not talking to anybody fucks up what they say in the thing. Let's talk to Rachel. Oh my god, I'm like golden. Just look at me fly. I'm such a bad girl. I like to graffiti in the girls' room and it's like gorgeous. It's fake gold leaf, Max. Look at it. This is who I am as a person. Don't try to change me. I'm so amazing and you're super hot. But I guess I'll just have to fuck you in an alternate timeline. Bye. <laughs> Let's get back to Chloe. <laughs> no, week three. <laughs> Chloe's alone. <laughs> Chloe has begun talking. She drew a face on her bong, and she's like, okay, bongzilla. <laughs> You're my only friend. Oh, yeah. For anyone who wasn't around last night, we were playing, like, a really shitty dating sim called Seduce Me, and we named ourselves bongzilla. <laughs> Rachel just spray pays dicks everywhere. Golden dicks. Having fun, Chloe? Fuck yes, Mad Max. I love smoking pot. I hope you don't ditch me. I really want to bone you. We've been best friends since childhood, and why won't you fuck me? Please notice me. Look at this. You're so gorgeous. <laughs> wow, what are you going to do? You can't just leave me, right? Like, we're going to be, like, so great. Bong <laughs> Bong <laughs> till the 420. <laughs> Never forget. You want to take a photo of me because it's so fucking gorgeous? Take a picture and it'll last longer, Max. But apparently that's all you're good for because you don't like talking to me as a person. And you're just going to ditch me for Kate Marsh. God. <laughs> okay. Let's go, <laughs> Max and Clyde. Let's go to the courtyard. Close let's sadly in a corner mad world place. <laughs> all right. Let's talk to Victoria. Oh my god, Max, why are you talking to me? You're so not even good for me. I don't even like you or anime, and I definitely wouldn't be your sugar mommy in an alternate universe. Oh my god, you dress like shit. I wish I could dress you, just undress you and redress you all up. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> you look so amazing with your fucking new clothes and like Which white pants. Thirsty in every universe. I, would, like, <laughs> I would buy you so many croissants and you could eat them just like you would eat me. Wait, no, I didn't say that. Stop it, Max. You're lying to yourself. You're, I'm too good for you. Just I think fucking your dialogue is better than the game. <laughs> just fucking leave, Max. I never you wanted to anything to do with you. What? Victoria, why? Oh, no, it's because you're ugly. Oh, God, I guess that's true. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to go. I have, like, photos to take and people to fuck. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Previously on Life is Strange. <laughs> soon, soon, Sugar Mama. That is Victoria in a nutshell. She is. Soon, soon, Sugar Mama. After we played the Victoria Chase route, Mariah is such Chase Field trash now. And well, it's fair. I was already Chase Field trash. That's very true. And I've read, like, everything on AO3, and I'm like, why is there not more? I don't know. Needs more AO3. Also, you Next. need to watch... Uh, Winona Earp with me so we can be gay garbage. Okay, we can watch Winona Earp. I hear it's gay. There's only three episodes and it's gay as fuck. I'm ready. And okay. I'm sure it's gonna end horribly, but I'll take it while I can. Okay, Mariah, listen, it's time to talk to Jesus now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sailor Moon's coming back, we need a break. <laughs> hey, Kate. Kate looks up from her sketchbook and gives me a warm smile. Look at her. She is like a fucking renaissance painting. She's I feel like, like if you actually opened Kate's sketchbook, it would be like, she's drawing sure. like hardcore she's furry porn or something. The Bible. <laughs> she's writing an illuminated <laughs> manuscript. But it's I like that we went in very different directions. <laughs> yeah. We were like, illuminated manuscript, and I'm like, she's probably drawing furry porn. <laughs> <laughs> Kate's secret life. Chase Price Mark. Price Marshfield. Oh my god. I Okay, Price Marshfield would be intense, and then Kate Marshfield would just be like, what would that even be? Did you just say Kate Marshfield? Oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Chase like, Field like Marsh. Two Kate Marshes and a Max? Like, two Kate... <laughs> two radiant the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Max would totally be in the middle. <laughs> Max, Max would so be in the middle. And then Max Kate, wants to be in the middle of no, every No, Kate sandwich. would be like, Victoria, I noticed that you didn't give 10% to tithing today. <laughs> and Victoria would be like, I need that for my anime. <laughs> Kate's like, listen, you're loaded. You give Jesus all of your fucking money. <laughs> give it to 
Jesus. <laughs> Kate, I thought you didn't want to call you that outside of the bedroom. Kate looks up from their sketchbook and gives me a warm smile. Good morning, Max. It's good to see you. I'm happy to see her, too. Come to think of it, Kate's been a little hard to get a hold of lately. Okay, so I just want you to know, this is an obscure reference, but I'm now just picturing Kate in uh, Mary Sunshine from Reefer Madness, where she's, like, sweet and innocent and then goes all, like, crazy psychotic dominatrix. I could get behind that. <laughs> <laughs> Acne clears up, gets better grades, goes on a better diet, owns, owns a gallery. A gallery. The light of heaven shined down upon you. I know. Life is... Everything is different now. She seemed a lot quieter than usual. She's not the loudest person to begin with, but maybe she has something on her mind. <laughs> Whatever it is, it doesn't stop her from greeting me as warmly as ever. That's Kate Marsh for you. I missed your violin playing this morning. Look at me. Notice me. Notice me. Not that I would have heard much of it over Dana's music. Fucking okay, Dana. I sit down next to Kate. Life is peculiar. <clears throat> on the bench and see that she's sketching a few cartoon characters gathered around the fountain. Kate notices me looking and smiles softly, pencil tapping idly against the paper. Dude, is Kate gonna draw us? I want- is she gonna draw us like one of her French girls? Oh my god. I thought I'd try to get some drawing in before class starts. When I'm feeling inspired, I always want to sketch right away so I don't forget the images in my head. Look at her. Look at her. Wow. She's caressing a sweet baby lamb. <laughs> <laughs> I look more closely at the page. Kate's drawings are always so cute and lively. She'd make an awesome character designer or storyboarder or an illustrator for children's books. Any of those would suit her. <clears throat> Good thing she didn't pull the secret string. <laughs> the secret <laughs> compartment with Max's nudes from the Christmas party. <laughs> yes. Draw me like one of your personas. <laughs> yeah. Max, I drew a picture of you. You're a deer. <laughs> and I am a bunny. <laughs> yes, Cliff Racers. Feel free for Max, look at my fur affinity account. <laughs> Everybody Let's get matching icons. Shut up, Mariah. Twelve dollars on commissions. Any anyone <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you guys. <laughs> Everyone, feel free to shamelessly plug your uh, one shot. My adoptables. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jesus is a lion. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Did you see that Tumblr post? That's like, what if uh, C.S. Lewis was was actually God's prophet, and all Jesus said to him was, "Draw my first soda." <laughs> <laughs> so he made Aslan. Oh my God! Aslan is Jesus's persona. <laughs> okay. Anyway, shut yeah. up. Yeah, everybody post your one shots. I will read them. Yeah, everybody feel free to post their fanfics or fan art or whatever. We will read them and look at them. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I know what you mean. I'll drop everything if I'm I'm doing if the time is right for a photo. I can't believe you do this kind of stuff with just colored pencils. It's I'll drop so everything, including my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drop my pants for you, Kate. Just love me. Thanks, Max. I've always loved your I photos love you too. Sin. She's, she's <laughs> so ready to sin. Mariah, are you ready to sin? Yes. <clears throat> Kate's compliments always... <laughs> Max, have you heard about this amazing website? It's called DeviantArt. This is called a sparkle pony, Max. <laughs> this is my sparkle wolf. <laughs> she always wears leg warmers and headphones, and these are her markings. Make sure you draw them right. This one Copyright looks, me. This one looks like a... <laughs> This one looks like a cross. Okay. Oh my god, her persona is probably like some shitty sparkle wolf with like. That, that Kate draws all of her personas. She, she in draws crucified posts. She draws <laughs> like she draws sparkle wolves with like crucifix markings. Oh my god. Okay. And they glow. They like stigmata wolves. Stigmata. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I've been okay. on the internet Minimize. too long. I kind Minimize of minimize what this. What did I do? Will that show up in that? No, just keep no, going. No. Keep going. Just, okay, okay, okay. Plow on through! I don't know! Kate's expression turns thoughtful and she clasps her hands on top of her sketchbook. I'm not sure. They seemed really excited about it when I was helping them catalog our photography textbooks on Friday. I'd forgotten that Kate is Mixed Dog's assistant. Did they mention anything about the surprise? Other than being excited? 
<clears throat> Kate laughs and shrugs and she seems to glow. Oh, Max, you fucking dumbass. It's a photography class. <laughs> You're always so curious about the world, Max. A lot of people would just say that I'm nosy. <laughs> <laughs> Her first crush was Sonic because she didn't have an after dark to voice. Ryan, did you see? Ryan, can you see from back there? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Kate's like, I gotta go fast. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta jerk off fast before Jesus sees me. <laughs> it's based on knuckles. <laughs> oh my god. I hate all of us. We're all going to hell. <sighs> Max Caulfield snooping strutted air. Kate gives a little huff and continues drawing in her sketchbook. Her pencil. Get that chaos emerald. Her pen. What does that mean? Oh. Never mind. Continue. I never will continue. Just <laughs> go flat. Yes, Allie, I think that Max's kink is definitely sticking her nose in interesting places. <laughs> Max, what are you doing? Please use your tongue. Max? <laughs> Max, stop sticking your nose up there. What the fuck? <laughs> looking for truffles. She's just... <laughs> Shut up. All the better to smell you with. <laughs> her pencil, her pencil <laughs> delicately tracing curves and lines. <clears throat> I think you just have a knack for adventure, like Gloria here. She's an amateur detective. Max needs a teacher. <laughs> Kate points to one of the characters in her drawing, a small figure peering into the fountain with huge, inquisitive eyes. Oh my God, teach student teacher. They totally RP. Oh my God, yes. That would be adorable. Kate's like Sunday school teacher. Like, oh uh, I hear you've God. been bad. She has like a ruler and a nun outfit. <laughs> and then Max is like, Let oh. Let me get under that habit, girl. <laughs> and, and Max is like, oh, fuck yes. And then Kate's like, I'm going to make you say 13 Hail Marys <laughs> and three rosaries and come back next Sunday. <laughs> <clears throat> a little cattail pokes out from under the character's long coat. Write the holy scripture on my clitoris. <laughs> Thanks, Kate. I'm glad you believe in me. I should get going, though. <clears throat> Kate nods. <clears throat> I wouldn't want you to miss Mix Dog's surprise. I'll catch up soon. See you, Max. Let's do this. <clears throat> Once I enter the classroom... Oh, okay. I sit in the bag because it lets me get a good view on all the honeys, and let me just, like, make comments on all of the other girls here. Well, hi everybody! Let's all have a photo contest! It will be so amazing! Whoa. Everybody's like, oh no, we have to do really good at this photo contest even though we're in a photo class. Ah, now this contest involves bonds. Molecular bonds or bonds, like sexual bonds, like bondage, maybe. I don't know. I'm your teacher, but I'm not... Why don't like, you just give me a photo? It's for a class. It's not for sexual purposes on my part. Nope, not at all. <laughs> oh god, who do I partner with? Chloe? Nah, fuck that bitch. Rachel? <laughs> Not today, son. Already did it. Oh, yeah, maybe. Hey, girl. Kate waves her fingers at me, smiling encouragingly. Smiling encouragingly. She doesn't have to say anything for me to know what she that she thinks I should enter. <laughs> her. Enter something. Hey, do you want to partner with me? No! The choice is mine. I could ask anyone. Nothing's stopping me but my own shyness. The worst that could happen is that I'll be turned down. Thank you, Cliff Racers. Which honestly seems more mortifying. The worst mortifying. that could happen is that you turn up. Oh. Who should I ask? Except for turn up. Except, Except for turn up. Look at her glow. <laughs> Are you sure you want to okay, accuse Kate? <laughs> Hell yes, sign me the fuck up. Mm-hmm. Good That's shit. A good shit. Oh my god, achievement unlocked a little faith. How cute is that? With like a cute little bunny? Like her oh achievement god. is like adorable. <laughs> that is really cute, actually. Look at where Kate sits too. It's just like <laughs> It's like the transformation scene in Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> I pick my camera up off the desk and make my way over to Kate, who's still looking at me. I'm so excited for you, Max. This contest was made for you, and I was made for you also. 
I wish I could feel the same way. I'm already nervous. Look That's at this. Where I was made for that sweet pussy. <clears throat> Look at her. She's. <laughs> what? Mariah's just like. <laughs> I'm ready for that. Or heavens to Betsy, of course. <laughs> Hella. Hella, yes! They're dead in the final. Damn. <clears throat> You'll do fine. <laughs> Chloe, like, are you fucking serial She's right like, now? In on 420. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> Max, did you seriously? Sorry, like, no, like, you didn't see any of the cues? <laughs> did you seriously not pick me on 420, Max? We smile at each other for a moment and I fidget. I wonder if it'd be okay to ask Kate. If my intuition is right, something else has been on her mind lately. Gay panic. I should. Gay panic is on her mind. I should <laughs> let her know that it's okay if she doesn't want to enter the contest or be my partner for that matter. So I was wondering if maybe you'd like to be my partner for the contest. Oh my god. This is like going to be the most adorable already. It's going to be like, oh, I'm not sure. I just want to protect you and love you. Oh, I just want to protect and love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. You definitely don't have to, but I thought it might be fun to finally get to work together. You've got a great artistic eye, and... you got a great artistic eye. Kate's not eye. saying much. She's got her hands folded together, and she's looking down at them. I decide to shut my big, fat mouth. <laughs> Self-depreciating Max. It's super effective. <laughs> Kate Marsh is like, no, open that big, fat mouth up wider. <laughs> finally, she speaks quietly. I'd like that very much. Oh, fuck, yes, thank you. Okay, I'm really happy to hear that, but you don't have to. I know that you have um, lots of work to do, usually with your art classes and being mixed dog's assistant in your club. Kate suddenly laughs, high and sweet. Aw, this is already- Aw, Max, I always have time for you. Aww. 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 I'm gonna throw up. This is too cute. Oh my god. Max is just like, oh, so cute. Yeah, look at this. this. This happened immediately. Yep. Like her, like, little, little taste. <laughs> her little awkward. I'm, I already have cavities. It's just like, my mouth is just full of holes. Well. <laughs> you probably do have a cavity. I should go to the dentist. I should also go to the dentist. I've been to the dentist in a really long time because I don't have dental insurance. Oh, no one does. As long as you're totally serial, I know you have a lot on your plate. Oh, man. Max is, like, bringing out the dork immediately. Completely. I'm flattered you asked. We're interrupted by Mixed Dog trailing back to the front of the classroom and clearing their throat. <clears> throat> all right, all right. I've got to get into today's lecture, but you better pick a partner. I settle into my seat and as the lesson begins, but I can barely focus. All I can think about is the contest. When class lets out, it feels like hours later and I leap out of my seat. Kate is still seated by the time I cross over to her desk. She's drawing in her sketchbook again, her pencil making a faint path over the page. Hey, Kate. Hi, Max. She greets me without looking up first, and then she sets her pencil down and starts tucking her sketchbook away. <clears throat> I just tell me what you're drawing. <laughs> My that is exactly goodness. what Rachel is doing. If you're sure you want to work together for the contest, we should let Mixed Dog know. I'm sure that I'm sure. I pick Kate's book bag off the floor for her at- Oh, oh You're such a sweetheart, she's Max! Your fucking book. She's oh like, let God. me carry your books! Oh. oh! As she pushes her chair out and stands, she gives me a grateful smile. Thank you, Max. I'll take it. I'll take more than just my books if it's from you. I'll take it all, girl. I'll take it all. <laughs> she reaches out for her bag. Her shoulders seem to slump slightly beneath its weight. Or maybe I'm just imagining things. I follow Kate towards the front of the classroom and we give Mix Dogs our name for the contest registration sheet. <clears throat> After that's done, Kate turns to me. <laughs> All of the notes. I want to contribute as much as I can to this, even if I'm not much of a photographer. Kate, you can be my muse. I know. This is so floofy. It's like much. <laughs> this is what happens when you believe in Christ. <laughs> <laughs> the is this what I missed by not going to church? When, my when you believe in Kate Marsh, anything is possible. <laughs> what would Kate Marsh do? 
Don't sell yourself short. Your work is really strong. The power of Kate compels you. <laughs> I'm more of an illustrative artist. But to be able to draw professionally, you have to teach yourself about scale and perspective and proportions, right? All that stuff applies to photography, too. I guess I never thought about it that way. Sometimes I sketch in my journal. I've learned lots about how much photography has in common with drawing and just by doodling. Oh my god, this is like so positive it hurts. Yeah. Yeah, just like, no, you are amazing and you can learn and do anything you put your mind to. No, Max, the same goes for you. You're just so talented. You're cute. No, no you're, you're cute. <laughs> I'd love to see your sketches sometime. I bet you're they're wonderful. They're shit. <laughs> what if they're like really, really shitty? And Max is like, oh, Kate, they're great. <laughs> this looks good. Did you have you tried praying to be better at art? <laughs> maybe, maybe what Jesus just hasn't listened. What is this? It's called a not Max. <laughs> Shut up. I hate myself. They're not really that great, I swear. Now it's my turn to reassure you, isn't it? Oh my god. Max totally gets off on reassurance. Like, this has been a common theme in all of the romances. <laughs> like, Max just needs someone to, like, validate her pussy. Validation king. <laughs> validate my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Please validate here. Gotta validate swipe, your parking. Here. Gotta swipe my credit card. Declined, declined, approved. How do you feel about erotic statement? <laughs> What is this you're drawing? Is that George Lopez, Kate? No, it's you, Max. It's a portrait of you. Oh my god. <laughs> George Lopez. How do I look like George Lopez? <laughs> you got me there. That's how I see you in my mind's eye. I, sh I wish you looked more like George Lopez, Max. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'll show you. What the fuck is this street? I don't know. Kate smiles, her eyes sparkling. <laughs> look at this, look at her. So pure. <laughs> So true. We can save that for a later date. For now, we've got the contest. <clears throat> right, do you want to meet tomorrow morning to do some planning? Like, for where we're going to take this photo? <clears throat> I was just about to ask you the same thing. Well, how about the two whales? I'm never not in the mood for a good breakfast. Same, so it's settled. Oh my god, look at her. <laughs> I've got to catch my next class, but I'll message you later to set up a time. Sounds good. I pause, hesitating. <laughs> hesitate. Just, just <laughs> photos and lingerie. <laughs> oh wow, your bra has crosses on it. <laughs> so do my Jesus, nipple tassels. There's, it's like a Jesus bra, like Jesus is staring at you disapprovingly from each tip. She has like nipple tassels that are little crosses, and when she shakes them, they're just like, woo, around the world in 80 days, Jesus. I pause hesitating as I look at Kate's tired face. <laughs> Thanks for partnering with me, Kate. <clears throat> Take care, okay? I will, Max. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh my god, that was like so pure. Immediately. <laughs> Kate's chin dips towards her chest as she leaves the classroom. I hope she's alright. She's as warm as ever, but I can't help but feel that something's off. I hope I'm wrong, but maybe this contest will help her take her mind off whatever it is. Tuesday. It's about 10 in the morning by the time I get to the diner the next day. All right, let's go into the journal, guys. Anime Brooke. Um, okay, Kate, yeah, we read this. <clears throat> Here we go, October 7. We always start with Brooke. Yes. I asked Kate, out of anyone and everyone in my photography class, Oh my god, literally. This game is just praise kink, and Kate is the ultimate. She's just like, praise me and I'll praise you. Kate has the most calming energy of any of them, and she's an illustrative artist's eye. I know I can probably produce something great with her as my partner. Hopefully Kate's into it too. She seemed happy about it when she agreed to be my partner, but I seriously can't shake off the feeling that something is off. Okay. There's still a decent crowd, even though it's a little before the lunch rush. Mostly the usual suspects enjoying a late breakfast, truckers, cops, and a few students like me. Joyce keeps a watchful eye over these peculiar, particular patrons. She smiles at me, however, and I wave at her. 
There's no shortage of seats, so I idle by the door for a moment. Yesterday, Kate and I agreed to meet here so that we could discuss locations for the contest photo. I was a little hesitant to ask for her help at first. Kate seems to have a lot of on her mind lately. <clears throat> She's been more shy than usual, rarely emerging from her dorm room except to go to class. I'm not sure what's going on, but I don't want to give her more stress than she already has. But seeing her face light up reassured me that I had made the right choice in asking her. Maybe this will help get her mind off whatever's bothering her. Or at least make her laugh when I make an ass of myself entering a shitty photo. Oh, Max. Speak of the devil, or angel in this case. Oh my god. Kate enters the diner. <laughs> she's like, she's beauty, she's grace. She'll sit on my face. <laughs> At everyone get higher standards. She looks a little bewildered, but she smiles when she sees me beckoning her to stand next to me. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. Sorry if I kept you waiting. I've actually never been here before, so I had to look up the bus schedule before I left. She may have kept me waiting all of three minutes, if that. It's not the first time I've had to wait on someone. Take Chloe, for example. And for that, I'm punishing you. <laughs> Chloe, I'll never be with you again. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, she's my best friend, but... I can't be... <laughs> <laughs> Kate's like, who do you want me to be, Max? <coughs> okay, tonight we're gonna roleplay the Bible. <laughs> you can be David I'm gonna make, Goliath. I'm gonna make, like, <laughs> Noah's Ark and make you wet. I'm gonna be so I'm gonna soaking. gonna flood that pussy I'm like gonna... Noah's Ark. <laughs> Victoria's gonna look at our relationship and turn to salt. Just like Job's wife. Girl can't Wasn't keep it. it Lot's wife? Just like Lot's wife. I don't actually know. No, it was it was Lot's wife, because Job's wife Job was like the one whose life fucking sucked. Like God was like, hey Satan, wanna make a bet? I bet I can make Job's or Job's life super fucking shitty and he'll still love me. And Satan's like, alright, fine, you're on. And then like the Jesus is like fuck or God is like fuck you and like makes his life really shitty <laughs> and then Satan's like well I guess you're right well damn and Job's like god damn it <laughs> that was your Kate Marsh sanctioned bible lesson for today <laughs> wow Kate on the other hand is almost painfully considerate always putting other people first whoa so Kate's a giver yes we've learned Kate does need validation too, Allie. I guess that's what makes me want to look out for her. The thought of someone as sweet as Kate losing her reasons to smile seems wrong. No worries, is a booth okay? Max avoids Chloe like a natural disaster. <laughs> I gesture to one corner near the old jukebox. Kate nods and we both make our way over to it. I like to see <laughs> People who orgasm first, it inspires me. Wow. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. Kate nods and we both make our way over to it, sitting on opposite sides. Wow, does it always smell so good in here? She looks like she's literally in heaven from the smell of the delish breakfast food being prepared. Actually, Max, you are... Heaven is wherever Kate Marsh is. Yeah. Like, Kate Marsh could walk into that needle-ridden junkyard and be like, Hello, this is the promised land. <laughs> Welcome. <clears throat> I can't help but smile as I reply. Yes, Joyce is an amazing cook. She'll take good care of you. A waitress shows up to take our drink orders, co coffee for me and tea for Kate. She may be an early bird, but I need my caffeine fix. When the waitress comes back, I order my usual stack of pancakes and Kate orders the same thing, apparently trusting my judgment. When Kate takes a sip of her tea, she practically melts into the cushion behind her. Like, she's truly relaxing for the first time in a while. Dude, we're gonna need to, like, hurt comfort Kate something fierce. <laughs> I notice the shadows under her eyes for the first time since we sat down and feel a pang of uneasiness in my stomach. She looks really tired. I can't help but wonder how she's doing. Should I say something about it? Uh, okay. So, chat... We're gonna do this as a team and as a family because I don't want to make Kate sad and I feel like the roller rapture 
<laughs> yes. Mariah, we need to be thinking of derby names. Okay. Based on all of the romances. Okay, we're gonna ask her if she's okay. See, I'm gonna wait for everybody, like, I'm gonna wait for answers on this one because knowing my, like, evil, sinful ways, yeah, ask her if she's okay. I will, like, fuck up Kate's romance. Are you feeling okay? No offense, but you look a little worn down. She seems surprised that I asked, but recovers almost immediately. Thank you, Cliff. I'm fine. <laughs> Just... She's so pouty. Ooh, cracking a joke is an achievement. We'll I'm, just have to play We're gonna have again. to play it again! <laughs> I'm fine. Just a little stressed out with, you know, life in general. Aw, oh, look at her! I want to make her smile. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still not sure that she's telling me everything, but I ne better not push her for now. She probably has her reasons. I hear that, but listen, if you need to talk about anything, I'm here, okay? I get another genuine smile out of her as she sips her tea again, the warmth of it putting some color back in her cheeks. Thanks, Max. I really do appreciate it. Our food arrives and I immediately dig in, not realizing how hungry I had been until Joyce's famous pancakes were right under my nose. Looks like someone's hungry. For my pussy. I look at, from the half-eaten meal on my plate to Kate's, hardly touched in comparison. I can hear my mom chiding me in the back of my head, but the grin on Kate's face tells me that she hardly minds. It's warm and glowing and makes me smile right back at her like a huge dork. Aww. They're so cute. Oh my god. There's an achievement for pissing everyone off so much that you don't submit a photo and you skip class. Oh my god. Wow. That's amazing. But also, how could you do that? Yeah. I could do it. <laughs> Max is just like, fuck you guys, I'm out. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, also, Kate is just like me. I eat super, super slowly. And Mariah feels the need to just shove everything in her mouth at, like, breakneck speed for who knows what reason. Like, how do you even taste the food when you eat that fast? Mariah. Huh? God damn it. <laughs> Mariah doesn't care. Mariah doesn't care. <laughs> Mariah's like, just play the fucking game. Oh my god. Rachel has a tear-filled ending. So much drama. Oh my god. That's amazing. Oh no. You I have to be like do that. super mean. I feel like I could do it, but I would have to like cleanse. Yeah. Cause I wanna see it, but I'm also like. Yeah. Kate seems to have that effect on me. Oh my god, it's like day two. It's the morning of day two. More than I thought, apparently. Kate just laughs. I don't blame you. These are better than anything I've had at the Blackwell cafeteria. Make sure you pass that on to Joyce. Oh god. I, I don't think I do. I don't want to see Kate's bad end. I'm, I, like, I'm, I'm happy living in blissful ignorance of that forever. I don't think I could be that mean to Kate. Yeah. <laughs> you just have to play as Satan. Yeah. <laughs> you just... Satan roleplay. Like, legit, go into the game's files, take a picture from Google of Satan, and, like, replace Max. With Satan. With Satan. <laughs> like, Satan clip art. And just be like... <laughs> It's time to attack the heavens! <laughs> I will I will if I see her before we leave, but she probably hears that kind of thing all the time. I shouldn't bother her. <laughs> Pinky, that's a, Victoria would be like, oh. I didn't know I was into it. But or I did am. I? I so am. I reach across the table and nudge my hand gently with, and nudge her hand gently with my own. Oh my god! Like, um, Victoria would be like, Max, assert yourself to the front. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah, girl, tell me off. Mmm, baby, that's how I like it. Oh my god, look at them! They're already, like, touching hands over the fucking booth. That's adorable. You're, okay, I read that as boner. <laughs> You're never a boner, Kate. 
You're never a bother, Kate. You've got to believe that. Believe it! She looks at her hand, then back up to me, grinning again. I'll try, Max. She smiles so much when we're alone together. <gasps> this is so much more powerful than even I could have predicted yeah. and, like, thought. <laughs> like, you know? I, I wasn't expecting this level. <laughs> like, this is a hyper beam of gay. Yeah. Kate doesn't open up to a lot of people, preferring to keep herself keep to herself most of the time. <clears throat> I'm one of the lucky ones that gets to see the other side of Kate, her chatty, bubbly side. It makes me feel awesome. Oh my god. This is literally just like, you make me feel awesome. No, you make me feel awesome. We're so awesome. <laughs> oh, Max, that's it. Could you stand up for yourself? <laughs> After I finish inhaling my breakfast and Kate goes about eating hers, I decide to bring up the contest, the contest entry. All right, we don't have a lot of time, so we need to think of a game plan. Kate looks up for when she's been twirling her fork in the remnants of her pancakes, giving me her full attention instead. Right, what did you have in mind? Hmm. Hmm. The location of the photo is going to be really important, so let's focus on that first. Do you have any... I stop, suddenly very aware of Kate's eyes on me. Not focusing on my words, but on me in particular. Ooh, wow. Ooh. yeah, give me, give me hints on the location choice, everybody. What? Do I have something on my face? What is it? Oh my god, Kate. Kate laughs, breaking the tension in an instant. Yes, actually, you've got a bit of. Oh my god, are you gonna wipe it off? Ah! Oh. Um, this is too cute already. She leans over the table between us and gently wipes the corner of my mouth with a napkin. Oh. Look at her! She's so beautiful! Wow. This is adorable. Oh my god, this is so fucking cute. I wasn't ready for this. She does it so naturally and gently that I barely have time to register what's happening. <laughs> yes, thank you. Ooh, okay. How do, uh, how do we get Ch Kate's choice? I'm assuming that'll just pop up when it comes. Um, she does it so naturally and gently that I barely have time to register what's happening. Oh my god, if this isn't, if this hasn't even scratched the surface, I don't even know... What? How to like? I'm gonna explode. My ovaries are just gonna I'm, like fucking explode. My ovaries are already exploding, and we're like one fucking morning in. <laughs> oh god, does she take her to the roof of the school? <laughs> Before I can react, she's seated again. There, that's better. Oh my god, look at her. She's like, I know. <laughs> look at how beautiful and pure I am. Um, thanks. Okay, Max, if you- Whoa! Max brought out sex face immediately. <laughs> I figured. I touched the side of my mouth where Kate's hand it had ghosted, feeling a slight heat in my cheeks. It felt really nice to get her attention. No, it's okay! I, I got this. I heard fucked up and I was like, The roof! <laughs> I believe. Don't worry. I'll be. I'll be playing this game. I like. I just. I can't hurt Kate's feelings. Like yeah. I can't. She's so pure. At least I can't hurt Kate's feelings on my perfect playthrough. Mm -hmm. It felt really nice to get her attention. All right, Max. Focus. The contest. Remember. Look at. Look at Max and Kate. Like, look at this. This is just pure. Yeah, Kate. I love your cross necklace. You know, propped up really nicely on your pillowy bosoms, but it's the cross. See, that's why I picked you to be my partner, Kate. I'd be all over the place without you. Yeah, about that. Oh, shit. What's going on? Kate fingers her cross necklace self-consciously. <laughs> I got a sex toy. It looks like a cross. <laughs> like there's something on her mind. What's up? blush concept. Kate shrugs, looking away. Are you worried about the contest? 
It's not that. Her eyes snap back to mine. Jesus greatly approves. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Jesus is like totally shipping it hardcore from heaven. Jesus is up there like, my OTP! Jesus is like, my OTP is so cute! Look at them! Look at them! And then, like, fucking Joseph or some shit is like, oh my god, Jesus, we know. That's, that's great, son. <laughs> that's great, I love your ship. Hey, ghost! It's okay, we'll uh, put it on uh, YouTube. And it's gonna be archived on Twitch, too, so. Yeah. Uh, essentially all you missed was extreme pureness and the most adorable- We're gonna wreck it. Kate, but we're gonna wreck it. <laughs> I'm not worried about you handling the contest, Max. I'm just not sure why you picked me to help you. Satan will remember this. <laughs> this action will have consequences. Oh my god, look at her cute little- face. Aww. She's like, why would you pick me? And Max is like, do you even look at yourself, Kate? You're perfect. <laughs> what do you mean? I haven't been feeling myself lately. What if I slow you down or mess you up? I just don't think I'm as talented as you. If I screwed up your chances of winning, I'd feel awful. Wow, she's really beating herself up over this. Also, I love how like Max is just like, yeah, I am a pretty great photographer. <laughs> <laughs> Kate, maybe, maybe you should pick someone else to help you instead of me. I won't have any hard feelings, I promise. Oh my god, she's so pure. There's no way I want anyone else to help me besides Kate. What, what could I say to reassure her? We can do it, right? Yeah, thanks Allie. We can do it. Together. <laughs> I shake my head. Sorry, that's not gonna happen. But I picked you to help me because I thought we'd make a great team. I know how to set up a nice shot, sure, but I have trouble bringing it to life. I've seen your art for those little children's comics you make. They're so vibrant. There's so much emotion in your work. It's incredible. Kate looks shocked, looking down again. Oh, Max, you are way too nice. I'm serious, Kate. You're an amazing artist. Just the kind of person I want working with me. Oh my god. If they did do, like, a student-teacher roleplay, it would be like, Oh my god, you did such a great job on this paper! Well, oh you god. did a better job at teaching me, Miss March. Oh, Mrs. Caulfield, you're, like, doing so well. You just got, like, 102%, but you want to get even more extra credit? Oh my god. I'm serious, Kate. You're an amazing artist. Just the kind of person I want working with me. So don't worry, okay? With you on my team, I know our entry is going to be great. I'm not a motivational speaker, but Kate actually looks hopeful after I say that. Okay, you're right. Go Team Max! Aw, look at them! Like, this is happening so quickly. I put my hand over hers and smile. There is a lot of touching in this one, dude. Like, immediately. I approve. This is adorable. You mean Team Max and Kate. Plus eight. We wow. finish our drinks and exit the diner. <clears throat> <It's bad. laughs> According to my phone, it's only been an hour since we sat down for breakfast. So there's plenty of time left in the day. Literal affection central. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Kate. <laughs> yes, Pinku. Actually, Max. Where to now, Max? Do you have any ideas for a location? <laughs> you decide! Kate, you need to believe in yourself! Hmm. Oh, follow me, Max! Oh my god, so cute! After two whales, we boarded the bus out of town where it pulled to a stop in front of a large white building. Also, can we discuss that, like, Rachel and Kate have to take the bus, but like Sugar Mommy Victoria is like, get in my fancy Corinthian leather car, Max. <laughs> Let's fucking drive. <laughs> so adorable. She wants to hit it. She wants to hit it bad. We're pulled to stop in front of a large white building. Oh god, is 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 fucking um, is is Kate gonna like take us to the hospital and be like, look at all these stories of hope. <laughs> like, wow. feel like a shitty person. Like, look, we're gonna take pictures of these, like, small, terminally ill children. The ho oh my god, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Kate, you're so pure. She's too good. Jesus, <laughs> fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh 
Oh my, look, she did! Oh, look, it's Chloe, Max, and Kate. Like, do you see the them? Dogs. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> That's so cute! Oh. Chloe knows about that picture. No, I feel like Kate. I feel like Kate draws for like the sad, sick children, and she's like, "This is my subtle way of asking for a three-way." <laughs> Max, I like the artistic girl, and then like the bad girl. <laughs> Max, I glance around as we entered, taking in the atmosphere. It was nothing special on the inside: white walls, shining linoleum floors. <clears throat> Uh, people in scrubs darting in and out of patients' rooms. <laughs> That's true. It could be. The world may never know. Just an ordinary hospital. If it weren't for the television in the waiting room or the hushed voice of the receptionist taking calls at the front desk, the whole place would be eerily quiet. I look over at Kate, envious of her calm. Hospitals give me the creeps. And germs, Kate! Why are you taking me here? We're gonna be sick by Friday. <laughs> What could possibly be worthy of a photo contest entry in a place like this? Oh, Max wow, is, Max, you piece of shit. Max, you're an actual douchebag. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean these poor, like, sick children dealing with their, like, diseases and shit? This isn't worthy of a photo, like a selfie of the back of my head looking at my <laughs> other selfies. Kate leads the way, skipping the receptionist and heading straight to the elevator. Meanwhile, the receptionist is like, excuse me, Missy, you can't just walk into the hospital rooms. She presses the button to go up, and we wait for the elevator to descend. So, a hospital, huh? I'm sad. Unlike Kate, who actually looks very sure of herself here. I'm a little skeptical. I know what you're thinking, but, well, just trust me. It'll make sense once you see where we're going. She must be able to sense my unease, because after a pause, she turns to look at me. You do trust me, right, Max? Oh my god! How wow. cute! Of course! <laughs> wow! Okay, I'm, I'm gonna I say mean... of course, yeah, okay. I was gonna say... <laughs> Max has to capture art, she has no time for mortality. <laughs> Get me away from these diseased children, Kate! They're gonna cough on me with their germs! <laughs> Can you catch cancer? I feel like you can. <laughs> no question, Kate's never steered me wrong before. Yes, of course I trust you. I'm just a little nervous. I haven't been to a hospital since... Okay, you're gonna laugh, but when I was little... Oh my god, I'm ready for story time with Max. Max, you're, eight, you're 18. It's... I you're chewed really the right? eye off my teddy bear and swallowed it. Oh, I remember that from the game. Kate's concern instantly melts away as she smiles. That's so cute. Well, I guess I would have seen- Cradles the spirit of Tiny Max. Cradles Tiny- <laughs> Let me hold you, baby Max. I'll help you expel the demon teddy bear eye from your stomach. You must have been so scared and such a little dumbass, but I love you. I was. I just remember, like, doctors in white coats <laughs> looming over me. Freaky. I shivered a little at the memory. To this day, I still can't watch medical dramas without getting creeped out. Wow. <laughs> Dr. House, we don't know what's wrong. Well, it seems like this dumbass chewed off a teddy bear eyeball. <laughs> How? Oh, Mr. House, you're such an asshole. <laughs> I've actually never seen House. You basically got the show right. Okay. <laughs> Kate, they're gonna breathe off my film. Kate, they're gonna get germs on my camera and I don't have any anti-disinfectant wife. <laughs> it's lupus. It's always lupus. <laughs> to this, uh, before my mind can stray to any dark places, I feel fingers brushing gently against mine, making my heart skip slightly. No doctors will get you this time, don't worry. You ungrateful little jerk, the doctor saved your life, Max. Look at Kate, she's like protecting Max from the doctors. It's too cute. It's so adorable. Kate's like, oh Max, you silly little baby. You silly <laughs> sweet tropical starfish, just come with me. Her voice, gentle and reassuring, makes me slightly less anxious. The elevator arrives and we step inside. <laughs> Kate presses the four button almost immediately. It's like she's done this countless times before. The doors open and Kate gently beckons me forward with a nod of her head. 
She's buzzing with energy, looking around the wing in excitement. It's actually really adorable. Aw, your girlfriend is too good for you, Max. Like, she's too pure. Way too good for you. Looking around, I don't blame her. Colors are splashed along the walls, completely contrasting the blank ones of the floor below. The main area is filled with plush chairs and bean bags. <laughs> and there's a small table with chairs in the corner. Oh my god, they totally do doctor roleplay. They're like, okay, Max, now I'm going to give you a breast exam. <laughs> Spread your legs. This isn't going to hurt one bit. <laughs> bow, bow, wow. chicka, bow. <laughs> You're going to have a god time. Littered with toys and coloring books. A children's wing? Kate, I don't want to be here to be reminded about how shitty other people's lives are. <laughs> mm-hmm. After scoping out the area, she turns to me with a grin. Looks like no one's around. Should we surprise them? She points to one of the rooms down a corridor. I shake my head. You go first. I'll wait out here. Also, wait. Kate, did you just go in here without notifying the receptionist? It's like, time to sneak up on some sick kids. <laughs> Max, it's gonna be so fucking funny. They're gonna be asleep, but we're just gonna run in and scare the shit out of them. <laughs> You know, <laughs> laughter, they say laughter is the best medicine, but you know what I find works better? Fear. <laughs> Terror. <laughs> Max, you fuck with some sick kids? I've never been that good around kids. Not that, oh yeah, that's true. She is a regular. They would know her. Yeah. Not like Kate. She's a natural mothering type. Kate bumps my shoulder slightly with her own and walks past me. <laughs> it's okay, ghost. No one can grammar. <laughs> Kate bumps my shoulder slightly with her own as she walks past me to stand outside one of the rooms. They don't bite, you know. She flashes a mischievous... Okay, clearly Kate hasn't met some kids, because sometimes those motherfuckers do bite. <laughs> she flashes a mischievous I grin... Like horror stories. I, I did a lot of babysitting in my youth and darts to the patient's room before I can retort. I don't mind. It's so nice having Kate in good spirits again. A moment later, I hear her talking in a soft voice, then a shriek of absolute delight. <laughs> Supply, grab a child. Oh my god. Kate is too good for this world. It doesn't take long for the other kids to catch on. A small crowd gathering outside the room Kate is in. This is like when Jesus walks into a town and all the townspeople are like, Welcome! <laughs> Come to me, Jesus! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, I, one time I, ha I was babysitting like my sister's friends because my sister is much younger than me. And at one point they pretended I was a, like a popsicle or an ice cream cone. <laughs> And they're like, you're a popsicle! And they're like, bit me, and I'm like, oh! <laughs> Fuck, no, I'm not! <laughs> Go eat a real popsicle! Jesus! <laughs> Fucking imaginations. <laughs> Whoa, that's intense. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, if like, they made a dent, that would just be like... It doesn't take long for the other kids to catch on. A small crowd gathering outside the room Kate is in. They ambush her as she leaves the room. Oh my god, Kate is Jesus. She like goes to hospitals and cures sick children. <laughs> they ambush her as she leaves the room, gathering around her legs and all babbling at her excitedly. Kate is all smiles and her usual shyness is gone completely as she listens and responds to each of the kids. Is she actually Jesus? I think she actually is Jesus. I'm like, Max, you are not good enough for Kate. Like, Kate is, like, so pure. <laughs> Max, you need to treat her correct. You need to treat her like the Lord Jesus. <laughs> A few of them turns towards me and I freeze. Kate smiles in my direction and looks down at the kids. This is my friend Max. She takes the prettiest pictures with her camera. This is so adorable. Okay. If I was Max, I would be in Kate's pants so fast. I'd be like, oh, you're good with kids. Let's fucking go. Yeah, My ovaries. As a true lesbian would. As a true lesbian would. Kate is the adoption lesbian. Kate is like the adoption yeah, like lesbian. Kids. 
I literally, I would be on my knees so fast, and I would be like, Kate, let's fucking do this. Let's adopt a UNICEF ad right now. We'll make or, it Benetton. Of course, Cliff. I flush and shake my head. I don't know about that. I can meet Kate's kind green eyes right now, so mine dart around the room instead. Oh my god, Kate's so gorgeous. There's a stack of coloring book pages on the little table, all filled in with crayon. Looks like I might have competition from these guys anyway. And then Max goes to look at the drawings. Oh, never mind, they fucking suck. <laughs> They can't cover, they can't color in the lines, Kate. Are you looking at this shit? <laughs> Chloe is the U-Haul. Oh my god, okay. Is Victoria, the Victoria is the power lesbian. Rachel's like the bohemian lesbian. <laughs> Kate is the fucking adoption baby family lesbian. And Chloe is the U-Haul lesbian. <laughs> Chloe is the U-Haul lesbian. <laughs> Looks like I must, might have competition from these guys anyway. This seems to distract the attention off me as the kids eagerly drag Kate towards the table, wanting to show off their work. I hang back, sinking into one of the beanbag chairs to watch some more, I'm amazed at Kate's ability to handle them so well. Caring, patient, and attentive, she really knows how to listen to each of them individually. Mm. Is Kate actually perfection personified? I think so. I wasn't ready to love Kate this much because, like, I love Kate. But I was never really like Marshfield. I was like, it's cute, but I don't know. I kind of like the dirty sin that is, you know, Chasefield. <laughs> but now I'm like playing with it. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Kate Marsh, you've won my heart. Understandable. The kids eventually get caught up in drawing more pictures, and Kate sinks down next to me. It's a big beanbag, so I move over to make room for her. They're sweet, don't you think? Oh my god. Wow. I thought they'd give us some inspiration for a nice photo. I think so too. These kids can be so innocent and sweet. It's a nice break from how harsh the world can be. A perfect subject for a photo. Although it's interesting because the world is harsh because all these children are in a hospital. <laughs> if anything, it's like shows how harsh the world is that something could happen to someone so innocent and sweet. <laughs> Kate looks happy at my approval. They're the sweetest kids I know. I think letting them be the stars of our photo is going to mean a lot to them. Make them feel important, you know? I nod sympathetically. They're all really young. It must be tough being away from their parents. After a beat, Kate says something else softly, looking at her hands instead of me. It means a lot to me, for sure. This is, that's very true. <laughs> that's an amazing image. Take me, Kate, Kate gets raptured by the beanbag chair. <laughs> Kate's voice is full of sincerity and gratitude. Oh, they all make, they, okay. <laughs> Alright, no, we're gonna, saying, no, no we're gonna, going for the bottom one, but like, we're gonna praise, laughing. Max. If they both make her blush, we're gonna go with the praise kink, right? We gotta, like, yeah, stick yeah. with tradition. Yeah. It's like, no, fuck those kids. Oh, okay. Well, no, okay, no, do not fuck the kids. We will thank the kids. <laughs> I shrug. You can thank the kids, honestly, for being so adorable. Okay, that was... Aw, oh, that was cute. Yeah, that was yeah. adorable. Kate smiles. Aren't they? I owe... A lot to them, actually. Being around them makes me so happy. That's good to hear. Maybe that's why she's been upset lately. Not enough time to visit these little tykes. That would make sense. Being around them ought to make her feel better. Definitely. They really love you, too. It's so cute. Looks like I made Kate blush this time. Oh, shit. I know. Some of them don't get a lot of attention. Their parents are either rich and leave all their kids' care up to the nurses, or too, are so busy working to provide for the rest of their families that they can't make it out here in person. So I try to keep them occupied. Kate, that's so awesome. You're like their cool big sister. <laughs> Kate raises an eyebrow. Cool kids spend their time volunteering on weekends. Oh my god, Kate, you're perfect! 
Yeah, I, not that I think you're cool or anything. Fuck me. <laughs> I'm not sure if our, some of our classmates would agree with you. I rolled my eyes just thinking about the cool kids in Blackwell. Oh, I know. Victoria's like, my rich parents don't pay attention to me, so I'm just gonna take all their money. <laughs> Jocks and narcissists like, that like to tear people down. Art school comes with its snobs, unfortunately. Definitely. Art school snobs? Never. <laughs> <laughs> Volunteering is totally punk rock, as Chloe would say. Oh my god. I love that Max references Chloe in every single romance. Yeah. <laughs> you really think so? Mm, I feel... Are you sure volunteering with young sick children is cool? <laughs> There's a noticeable change in Kate's tone of voice, quiet and despondent, as she turns her attention to the kids instead of me. And then Max is like, yes, Kate, why do you think Jesus is so popular? He's like super, <laughs> everyone. He's been around for so long and he's still cool. Everyone knows who Jesus is. Everyone knows his name. That's because he was nice to sick kids. He volunteered. You know who else volunteered on weekends? Jesus. <laughs> Kate, something's definitely bothering her. I sensed it back at the diner, but it feels even stronger now. We don't speak for a moment. I reach out to touch her shoulder Dude, gently, <laughs> causing her to jump a little. But I may not have been taught to love, but I have a yacht. <laughs> Ooh, major choice. Ooh. Look at this mess. Like, there is so much touching in this romance, and mm -hmm. I am here for it. Like, I am down. I'm so here for it. Causing her to jump a little. Sorry, I zoned out. Kate, whatever's going on, I want to help. Kate sighs, looking at her hands. I don't know if you can. Let me try, at least. I know I don't always have the best ideas, but I don't like see to see you hurting. This brings her attention back to me. I smile encouragingly. You trust me, don't you? I don't expect her to agree so quickly, but she does. She's out of gas. She needs to be refilled. <laughs> I do trust you, Max. Okay. Excuse me. I've been dealing with some really mean people recently. What? Who? Who? Tell me who to beat up. Who do I kill? Who do, who I, do kill? I kill, Kate? Who, what needs to be done? I have a baseball bat. Who would even be mean to Kate? It started with the Bible study I tried to start at Blackwell. <laughs> I was just trying to make a safe base for discussion, but some kids didn't like it. <laughs> Offended. <laughs> First someone wrote curse words on my room slate. Then Hayden and his friends started whispering about me in the halls. And then somebody made some awful drawings of me. They weren't even like bad subject matter. It was just like a portrait of Kate, but she's like, that fucking sucks. <laughs> How dare you draw me to look like George Lopez? Look at the shading on my upper lip, Max. They don't know how to draw portraits. They shouldn't even try. This, she doesn't explain further, and I don't want to make her. I'm already plenty furious. I don't get very angry this often, but when it comes to Kate... I know, right? It's just a Bible study. Like, let's chill Blackwell. I feel like I have to protect her. Especially now when she's getting ganged up on for no reason. Kate does not like non-consensual gangbangs. <laughs> Kate, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. Better that you didn't. I'm probably just being too sensitive. No, you're not. Nobody deserves to be treated like that. See, what Kate should do in response is draw an even dirtier picture of herself and be like, what now, fuckers? <laughs> you think that picture of me naked was bad? Well, look at this picture of me getting DP'd by the Property Brothers. <laughs> now, who's the dirtiest one now? Like, <laughs> you can't hurt me if I use it. What's that quote from Game of Thrones? What's wear it like armor. Wear it naked. like... And it can't be used to hurt you. Yeah, wear it like armor and it can't be used to hurt you. Kate just walks around wearing, like, horrible pictures of herself and be like, what? You can't hurt me. I'm better at insulting myself than you are. She was just offended. She's like, this anatomy is fucking horrible. Excuse? Why did you draw my boobs this small? Look at them from underneath my camisole top. 
Kate's just like, oh, wow, you wrote slut and lipstick on the mirror. I just wrote slut on my own forehead. <laughs> what in now, Sharpie. Victoria? In Sharpie. <laughs> you can't do me like that. I'll nail myself to a cross. What now? <laughs> Especially not Kate. Poor thing. Kate shrugs. Maybe, but what can I do about it? Well, <laughs> we have some ideas for you. <laughs> I'm not strong like you, Max. You can be the swolly ghost. You are the swolly ghost. You are way stronger than Max. Come on. <coughs> uh, okay. Stand up for yourself or just ignore them? I feel like you could easily do both of those, but it depends on how it's said. Yeah. Yeah. Look, look, look. Okay. Chat, chat, tell us what to do. Well, Cliff says stand up for yourself, so yeah, let's stand do that. Up stand up for yourself. Like Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> Who the fuck <laughs> on a helicopter? <laughs> it's like, time to get these motherfuckers out. You can't let them walk all over you like that. If you don't stand up for yourself, they're just gonna keep going after you. This that is not okay. So you've gotta tell them to step off before it gets worse. Kate considers this, looking a little intimidated at the notion. I know I should, but I just... No, we're gonna get you through this, Kate. I want, like, Max to stand behind Kate and grab her arms and be like, Bang it, motherfuckers! And, like, Max, like slap by everybody. Jesus stood up for himself. <laughs> what would Jesus do? You don't think you're strong enough, I know. But you're so kind to me and these kids. Throw the kids, throw the children at them. <laughs> children make wonderful projectiles. I hear they bite and they also carry many germs. Just strap like 10 sick kids to you, it's like, like armor. It's like biochemical warfare. You just have like a bunch of sick children attached to your arms and legs. Come at me, Hayden. <laughs> I'm gonna cough all over your weed. <laughs> they will bite them. It's like angry piranhas. <laughs> and even the people who aren't nice to you. That makes you stronger than they could ever hope to be. <laughs> That's so nice of you to say, Max. I just don't know if I believe it. I shake my head. You've got this, Kate. I have faith in you. Kate nods. <laughs> Kate's like, now that's a language I understand. Faith. Faith. Faith, trust, and pixie dust. You always have. So I'll, I'll try to do it. For you. Oh my god. <laughs> there you go, ghost. Just throw that one, like, monster child. Do it for yourself first. That's the most important thing. <gasps> oh! Yes. I'm so glad she said that because that is so fucking true. Like, you need to do it for you. Yep. And then do it for other people. Unless you're like a serial killer, in which case, do not do it for you. You <laughs> are wrong in that instance. <laughs> and you need to check yourself. Kate actually beams at this, and I get that warm, awesome feeling in my chest. You're a blessing, Max. Oh my god. All of this, like, faith-based imagery. Yes. What would Jesus do? Hopefully all three of us. <laughs> Kate gets to her feet and takes a glance at the clock. I'm a little tired now that I got that rant off my chest. Uh, hey, Ma Marvin? Matervin. Ma Matervin. 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 Mate Okay. Wow, good job. I'm just dumb. Okay, uh, we're actually not that far in. We essentially, Kate and Max touch each other a lot. It's been hard eye emojis, and they're too sweet and too pure for this world. And then Kate took us to a little hospital to meet with sick kids, and Kate's getting bullied, and we just told Kate to stick up for herself. Oh, shit. Would you mind heading back to Blackwell now? After I say goodbye to the kids, of course. Sure, whenever you're ready. Mate in my van. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Watching her light up as she talks to the kids e again eases my worries. 
I just hope my advice helped her. Wednesday. I'm still reeling over what Kate told me yesterday. Let's read this. <laughs> Mate! Here we go. Uh, okay. Kate and I showed up... Kate and I met up at the Two Whales. She showed up looking pretty... Kind of tired, but she seemed pretty glad for the chance to sit down and have a cup of tea. Like we do on our dates. If anything, I really hope the time we'll be spending together this week will give her a chance to relax. Spending one-on-one -on -one time with Kate is really the best. When I'm around her, it's hard to feel worried about anything. She's got a cheerful, talkative side that I don't get to see a whole lot when we're at school. Maybe school's got something to do with that? Anyway, Kate seems a little worried about the contest. She actually asked me why I picked her as my partner. The fact that she even doubted it is crazy. Why wouldn't I want to work with her? <laughs> hey, Desdemon Desdemonia. Yeah, you guys, you guys haven't really missed much except for adorableness. <laughs> Precious, adorable Kate. <laughs> After taking over possible photo locations, I decided to just leave it up to Kate. We wound up taking the bus right from the two whales to the hospital. Not the first place I would have picked, but I tried to get into... <laughs> What? Max. Oh, I know. Not the first place. I, for one, would not volunteer with sick children, but I guess if my future girlfriend when wants to. I think to... about bonding, I do not think of helping out small children. No. <laughs> but I tried to get into it even though I was confused, and I hadn't liked hospitals since I was little. Lucky for me, Kate knows exactly what she's doing. The moment we stepped into the children's ward, it all clicked into place. This is what Kate finds fulfilling. God, he really would, Balloon. He really would. Do what? Look, read it. Oh. Sell his spleen for character like Kate in this mixture. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Seeing her with the kids was wonderful. If there had been someone like Kate around when I had been in the hospital, I probably wouldn't find them so creepy now. I was feeling pretty good until Kate disclosed to me that she's been dealing with a lot of assholes lately. I hate that my suspicions were right, but she's better than them, and I'm going to make sure she knows it. Excuse me. Um, I got her back. Too. Because she's had mine ever since I met her. Ah, it's so cute. This this romance is like so adorable. I could never have guessed that she was getting trouble from bullies. Who could be mean to Kate Marsh of all people? It makes me furious to think about and kind of lousy at the same time. I'm supposed to be her friend, and I had no idea this was going on. I should have... I should have said something. Asked her out to tea, or sent her a text at least. Some friend you are, Max. Seriously, Max. Get your shit together. This is the worst. But there's no use worrying about what I didn't do. It's not like I can rewind in time and fix it. If I could turn back time... Wow. Shut up, guys. The important thing is being here for Kate in the present, in whatever way she needs. The bus reaches its destination, jerking me out of my thoughts. Jerking. I have to stop by the boardwalk today. Yes, jerking. <laughs> Ooh, I want spaghetti. See, yeah, see, I have serious spaghetti envy. There's a lot of neat little shops down here. Handmade souvenirs, antique stores, gift shops. There's even a place that sells camera gear for the tourists looking to preserve their memories in our sleepy little beach town. This shop also sells hella cheap Polaroid film, which I need to take for which I need to take the contest photo. I asked Kate to come along, telling her that I wanted some company, though it's more for her sake than mine. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely for you, Kate, and not for me. Please touch me. <laughs> She needs a day to relax, especially after I made her spill her guts to me yesterday. She seemed okay when I texted her last night, but I still wanted to see her in person to make sure. And her response to being asked to join me was so damn cute. No, we did not get lasagna, tragically. I had um, leftover chicken fries that Mariah didn't finish. Wow. Oh, was there a McDonald's sausage thing left? I don't know. Maybe. You can go look. Oh, where would it be? In the McDonald's bag? No, tragically breezy, but I still want pasta. Now the spaghetti is just making me, like, want pasta want intensifies. <laughs> Lasagna or pasta. The pasta thirst is real. 
<laughs> the pasta thirst is real. I love pasta. It's so fucking good. Uh, and her response um, to me asking... And her response to being asked to join me was so damn cute. It's still good because there's eggs. Yeah, it's, it's fine. fine. God, stop being a roaches. baby. <laughs> when you get sick and die, we'll just leave you there. <laughs> I pull out my phone to let, Co let Kate know that I have arrived, glancing over my last received text from her. Ooh, carbonara. Man, oh, have, have you guys been to the spaghetti factory? It's amazing. I love their mazithra mm -hmm. and brown butter. Like, mm -hmm. that shit is fucking, like, amazing. Um, where am I? Oh, glancing at the, over my last received text from her. So, oh my god, she has a flower crown! Look oh, at her! Look at my gosh. sweet angel! That's so precious. Oh, it's so cute! Sounds wonderful, I'll see you around 9, and I promise I won't be late this time, smiley face XOXO! Powerful beauty. I only knew what carbonara was from like The Sims, <laughs> where you can make carbonara, and then I looked it up because I didn't know what it was, and it's some kind of pasta. Relief washes over me again, and I smile. I hope those emojis are legit. Too much sad, Kate. Too much sad, Kate. Is not a good thing. I'm about to type out a quick test text, but there's no need. I can see Kate on a bench not too far from me, hands folded in her lap, staring out at the glittering ocean. Aww. I put my phone away again and start to walk quickly in her direction, not wanting to keep her waiting. She sees me out of the corner of her eye as I approach, smiling up at me. Whoa. Max, there you are. Hey, Kate. Sorry if I kept you waiting long. I rub the back of my neck sheepishly, thinking about the three times I had hit the snooze button on my alarm this morning. Naughty, naughty, Max. You're supposed to, like, fucking get up with the sun. Kate shrugs nonchalant. She's quiet today. I hope I didn't upset her too much yesterday, bringing up all of her problems. Yeah, yeah. No, that sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think little you Dig. Water, I think Dig Bop is thirsty. I'll get you water, buddy. I reach forward and tentatively squeeze her shoulder. There is so much touching. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Prosciutto. Nom, 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 nom. What about prosciutto? I like prosciutto. Uh, carbonara. Oh. She, she was... I understand. I am lazy all the time. Her eyes don't leave... Bacon is for the leaves. <laughs> prosciutto. I was watching um, Cutthroat Kitchen and they kept saying prosciutto and I'm like, I am not cultured enough to know what this is. So I had to Google it and it's like... Fucking advanced bacon. Like, if Kate Marsh was bacon, she would be prosciutto. <laughs> Her eyes don't leave my face, but she seems to perk up at my touch. Okay, I actually felt like playing my violin this morning. I haven't touched it in a week. Max is like, God damn it, why did I hit snooze? <laughs> I had noticed Kate stopped playing her violin in the mornings right around the time she started acting sad. I can't stop myself from smiling. That's so great. I must have slept right through it, but I'm sure it was nice, as always. She looks away, suddenly shy. Actually, I didn't get the chance. I was too, um, excited to be here. She looks back up at me, her eyes bright. With you. Oh, it's so cute! Aww. They're all in cream. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Fridge AU. Fridge AU. Oh, uh, what goes good with everything? Because that would be Max. Uh, Victoria would be like a truffle or some bullshit. Like some super fucking expensive yeah. thing. Wow. Does that make Victoria bacon bits? <laughs> no, Victoria would be like some like super fucking rich ingredient. Like, like so rich that I don't even know what it would be. <laughs> Yes, caviar. That's good. There we go. Ca that's that's what it is. Chloe can be like, like 
old McDonald's. <laughs> like, no, no, no. Like, let, a day old pizza, it's amazing and great and a standby. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's always there for you. The old standby. The old standby. Matt's is venison. <laughs> Rachel Amber can be some, like, fucking, like, a fucking, like, quirky-ass feather or some bullshit. Like, what is there a feather doing in the fridge? And Rachel Amber's like, just go with the flow. Do whatever you like. <laughs> yeah, leftover takeout. Oh, my Do God. Do whatever you want, Maddie. Do whatever you want, Maddie. It's not like I need a play-by-play. -play. <laughs> with you. Look at how cute they are, Melissa. That's magic. Mariah, are you looking? Yes. She's beautiful. She says it with such a gentle Mariah, voice that it makes my heart melt. Much. No. Are you guys gonna? <laughs> Rachel Rachel would be quinoa. <laughs> Rachel would so. Quinoa. <laughs> quinoa. Rachel would so be quinoa. She would be quinoa. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, Jefferson can be a KFC double down because he will eventually kill you. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys are gonna eat all the ice cream before I get any. <laughs> Maybe you should eat ice cream faster. <laughs> Food, AU. <laughs> Everyone gets eaten out, the story. <laughs> she says it with such a gentle voice that it makes my heart melt. I pretend to be distracted by a seagull milling around of behind us, her sweetness giving me a momentarily a momentary loss for words. Oh my god. Okay, so one time I was at SeaWorld when I was like really little. And so my mom like would never ever buy food at any of the theme parks that we went to. So we would just like starve until we left and then like go to a Denny's. <laughs> and, but like, I was so hungry that my mom was like, oh my God, fine, I will buy you a hot dog because like, just so you won't die, I guess. And I was like, yay. And she gave me the hot dog and I was holding it and fucking, I didn't even get one bite of this hot dog. A seagull just dive bombed me and took my fucking hot dog and my mom just started laughing and taking pictures and I was like, mom, I'm the seagull. So that's my fucking seagull story. They're the worst. Seagulls are terrible. And of course I can't even show up on time. You could have been playing your violin instead of waiting for my lazy bones. Kate, not even remotely peeve, just laughs and rises to her feet. <coughs> also, aren't there dorms, like, right next to each other? I feel like Kate could have been like, Max, please wake up and come join me on the bus. <laughs> just laughs and rises to her feet. <laughs> hey there, chum. Uh -huh. It's fine, really. I can play later. Maybe you could even join me on your guitar. <gasps> oh! Wow. They're gonna fucking like, it's gonna be like the most adorable, hipster, quirky, like. I don't know how music works. Wow, you did it. Oh my god, Max would, Max would be the chocolate frosty. <laughs> I nod immediately. Kate and I only played together once, but it's still one of my favorite memories with her. Definitely, we're long overdue for a jam session. Couldn't agree more. She looks so excited. I wonder if she's remembering it too. Kate looks over her shoulder at the shops ahead of us, then back to me. Shall we go? I nod, letting Kate lead the way. We stop by the camera shop first. Kate doesn't do a lot of browsing, hanging back to look at some cute lanyards while I pick out my film. After we, excuse me, after we exit, Kate and I wander for a little while. Kate remarks that she doesn't get out much, so a lot of the shops are new to her. If that's the case, I'm even happier that I invited her along. Even though the shops are pretty ordinary and shabby by most people's standards, Kate is really enjoying herself, eyes wide with interest. Oh my god. She's so pure. Mm -hmm. the, the shops are so shitty, but she finds But she joy. finds joy in the little things, in everything. We, we come across a shop filled with stuffed animals, and Kate actually pulls my arm over to look at oh them my with God, her. Stuffed animals. Oh, wow. sweet baby. It's a shame that more people never get to see this side of Kate, the side where she banters and acts silly, just because they never get to know her. 
Max, this one looks like my bunny persona. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It makes me feel pretty special. The markings are almost right. <laughs> Ready for the food pit, Shaka Bra. <laughs> Wow. Maybe that's just the effect Kata has on everyone. <laughs> She's such a warm person after all. Or maybe there's more to it than that. More to me and Kate. Ooh. A gentle tapping on my shoulder brings me back to reality. Kate st stops us outside of a small, sweet-smelling stand surrounded by tables with big umbrellas attached. Oh! A small sign on the front advertising fresh tea and baked goods. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. Most hipster shit ever. Hipster, hipster harem. harem. Oh yep. my god, that would be so fucking true. The most hipster of all. A small sign hangs on the front advertising fresh tea and baked goods. It's been so long since we had since we last had one of our tea dates. I take in another another whiff of the fragrant air coming from the stand, then look back over at Kate. Way too long. Want to stop here for a bit? We order our drinks and sit down at one of the small tables outside. The boardwalk's not very busy today, so there's not a lot of people watching, or there's not a lot of people watching to do. Kate and I practically have the whole place to ourselves. Still, feeling adventurous, I opt to order the house blend. The spices emanating from it are powerful, and I take a sip, and as I take a sip, my nose wrinkles. I let out a groan of surprise, and Kate grins at me from across the table. Too nice to laugh at my misfortune, but I can see it on her face. Oh my god, yes, the best harem. That's really strong. How's your tea? It's good. I always get chamomile because I'm boring. She says it with a smile, so, she no so I know it's not self-depreciating. It helps with my anxiety, too. I nod, a little concerned. You have that a lot? Kate arches an eyebrow. Max, I'm attending one of the most notable art schools in the state. There's so much pressure with that, you know, not to mention homework and my strict family checking in on me. Kate's bluntness makes me grin. We've both felt the stress. Blackwell does have a reputation after all. Look at them. You be blunt, Kate. You talk about how you feel. Listen. Stop eating all the ice cream. Listen. I am not going to have, there's going to be none left. You know what? Can yeah, we buy more ice cream? No. Oh and my. more cups. God. We go Wait, house? actually, Mariah, can you cut me a piece of ice cream, please? Please. Right now. Yes, right now. What would Kate Marsh do? Kate Marsh would cut me a slice of ice cream cake. <laughs> but then I'd be getting out of the freezer. And... What would Kate Marsh do? Kate Marsh would be a better My girlfriend God. than you ever were. Yeah, that's right. Go. 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 <laughs> Alice is like right behind this ATM, like, I fucking see you sinning. Oh no, here's Alice behind these <laughs> these little sunglasses. <laughs> Kate's bluntness makes me grin. We've uh blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I know. We oh man, we got this really good Carvel ice cream cake from uh from Ralph's and it's like chocolate with like crunchy cookie bits and vanilla uh, it was melissa's birthday this weekend so we couldn't stream because we were busy you know celebrating i guess um i'm still celebrating with ice cream kate, kate marsh would do the loaves and fish she would be like oh max did you want more tea and crumpets <laughs> what the fuck kate how did you get it to how did you get them to multiply Understandable. No universe is, she's too pure. <laughs> all of them. See, I feel like as though I need like a harem in my life. Like Mariah's good and all, but what if I could have all of them? <laughs> yes. We just need, I just need Victoria Chase to come into my life and be my sugar mommy. And be like, oh, Victoria, I love you. Point taken, maybe I should try drinking that stuff too. Kate takes a sip of her own tea, thoughtful. There are other teas for stress too, passion flower, lavender. Peppermint's good too, but a little too sweet for me. Cause I'm already so sweet. Wait, peppermint is too sweet for you? Is 
pepper. I don't like I don't like tea, so this doesn't really mean anything Is it like to me. Chocolate peppermint? Because peppermint's not sweet. It might, it's sweet to Kate. Are you fucking are you disagreeing with the fucking are you disagreeing with Jesus right now? <laughs> If Jesus says that peppermint is too sweet, it's too sweet. I glance at my three em at the three empty packs of sugar surrounding my teeth and back up at Kate. I'm getting worse than Chloe these days. I don't think I have that problem. In fact, I could use a little more sugar. <laughs> Yay, thank you. Ice cream perk. I want some sugar, baby. I'm gonna check my email. Ow. <laughs> <coughs> Jesus knows too much. <laughs> Would you like some tea with your sugar pack? Kate actually giggles at that. No, I guess you wouldn't. You could try. She stops herself suddenly looking down at her tea. After a pause, she notices my worried look and speaks again. Sorry, you must be so bored of me talking by now. I feel like I've been rambling so much today. No, girl. Kate, you talk as much as you need to. Um. Mm-mm. What? Wait a second. Where's the option that says... <laughs> okay. Um, where's the option to say no, girl? You just you can talk, you can read the dictionary to me. I shrug as if Kate could ever bore me. Max, or maybe you have been, maybe you have been, but so what? It's nice to hear you talking a lot again. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. See, that was that's nice. I never know the tone that's going to come off when I select these answers, and I'm like, Max, don't you dare be a dick. <laughs> it doesn't annoy you? She says it almost suspiciously, like someone has used that word to hurt her before. <gasps> I'd like to find that person and give them a piece of my mind. Shit. Hey, Mariah. Here, come here and read. I need to... Wait, what? Come here and I'm read. busy. You stupid bitch. Melissa, read. I don't wanna. My voice is too quiet. It's fine, just go. <laughs> it, no, you're you're no. voicing Max and Kate. No, it'd be like a whisper off. It'd be like, oh, you look great. Oh, thank you. Oh my God. Thank you. Kate, did you sit on a pile of sugar? Cause you got a sweet ass. <laughs> I'd like to find that, that person and give them a piece of my mind. God damn it, you guys. Now I have to- Just, just, do both. <laughs> now we're, I'll, I'll be doing the world. Be that person you hate. <laughs> I fucking hate that. <laughs> I'm like, one of my pet peeves is when people smack when they eat and when people talk with their mouth full. <laughs> And it's just like one of those things where it's like nails on a chalkboard, and I'm like, no, stop! <laughs> Never. I'll always listen to you. The mis the misgiving leaves Kate's face entirely. I know, Max. People get surprised when I actually have things to say. I guess I just don't stand out that much. I actually know exactly how you feel, Kate. She seems surprised at this statement. You do? But your photos are amazing, Max. Everybody knows you for them. But... Kate, but that's not my my personality. That's like my photos. <laughs> Why do you think everyone was so eager to have you submit one for the contest? You really do have a gift, Max. I shift a little uncomfortably. I know everyone thinks so, but I don't see it sometimes. That doesn't make it untrue. You're just insecure. Look at Kate. Kate brings the realness, and I love her for it. I smile at her knowingly. Kind of like you, huh? She pauses, suddenly very interested in the napkin under her disposable teacup. Maybe. I'm serious, Kate. Your drawings are awesome. Just as good as my photos. 
Just as I good. Just <laughs> not better, not better. <laughs> but just as good. Enough. Maybe. <laughs> good enough. <laughs> I lean forward, as if sharing a little inside joke with her. I still haven't erased that drawing you left on my room slate, just in case it's worth something one day. You should take a photo <laughs> of it. I can sell it. And I can profit off of you. <laughs> Kate had doodled a cute doe on my room slate a few days earlier, wearing a plaid Aww. shirt and a camera around its neck, an obvious caricature. That's so cute. Kate's like, I gave you a persona. <laughs> yep, Kate's now no. use it. <laughs> <laughs> Join me on DeviantArt. <laughs> I have three drawings prepared for you to post already. <laughs> they are enough for a profile. <laughs> Kate erupts into giggles at that. Okay, now you're being way too nice. I spent two minutes on that crap. Tops. <gasps> oh my god. Kate said crap. It's just a sketch. No. It's just, just a sketch. It's just a sketch. Just a sketch. Just a doodle. I don't. I still need to learn how to draw. <laughs> LOL, just doodle. LOL. Don't judge me too harshly. I still have a lot to learn. <laughs> While painting the Sistine Chapel. <laughs> LOL, this is just a sketch. No one judge me, please. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I gasped dramatically, mock offended. How dare you, Kate Marsh? That doe is obviously adorable. Praise, Kate crosses her you. arms. Well, I did use you as an inspiration so you could oh be my biased. God. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. She did. Max is like, Kate, are you just standing at my door? No, Max, go back inside. <laughs> it's not ready yet. <laughs> adorable. Oh, wow. it's adorable. That's a good one. That's Is that's it? qual that's quality. Dude, Kate is like so fucking smooth. Smooth like butter. <laughs> Kate is really smooth. Like, she likes to pretend she's not, but... But, no, dude, Kate is actually, like, fucking super winning me over. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'd hit that. Like, I would fucking, like, a freight train. <laughs> Just, like, fuck... Like, you know how Chloe gets stuck I in the train tracks? I would that ass up. Chloe would be Kate, right? And I would be the train in that situation. And I would be like, choo choo, I'm coming, motherfucker. <laughs> and Kate would be like, oh my god. <laughs> Kate, please, that's not the only reason. I shut up and take a sip from my tea, a sudden heat rushing to my cheeks. Okay. Oh, I actually was able to get the, um, the train thing, like, on the first try, and I was like, I don't know how I did that. <laughs> like, what I did it, thing? the train scene in oh, episode, life, yeah, life strange. whatever the fuck, where Chloe dies, like, for the millionth time. Mm -hmm. I was actually able to get it, which I was very grateful for, because, um, um, Ash, Ashley Birch, the girl that voices Chloe, was like way too good. I'm like, I can't listen to Chloe die. Yeah, that was too hard. Yeah, it it was like I was I was like, how did this happen? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh, look at them blushing. Aww. They're too cute. For some reason, the implication that Kate may oh, think like... I'm adorable, adorable, is making me trip on my words. It better not be. I actually want to write children's books one day, one day, and do the illustrations, of course. So cute art is a must. I grin at the thought. That's perfect work for you, Kate. Kate beams back at me. Do you really think so? <laughs> Ow. Just let him, hmm? let him show it off. Are you just shoving? 
rubbing cake in your face. I know. Yeah, I'm sorry if there's any pauses. It's because I'm trying to eat cake and some people... How slow do you eat? How is that cake yeah. still there? This I'm trying crazy. to read it. But this is proof that... like I'm going to eat while okay. you guys are talking. Let me, let me tell you about how April was given this piece of ice cream cake, what, 20 minutes ago? Legend. Right? 20 minutes ago. She's halfway done with it. Cody. It's 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 like an inch long. Did you motherfuckers it's like an inch long. are not helping? It's a tiny piece of ice cream Breathe cake. You guys, slow. anyone who has any experience with ice cream cake knows that it is smaller than regular cake, and she is still eating this. Whatever. You guys April are... eats really slow. You guys it's are like dicks. Really slow. <laughs> also, oh, she won best performance. That's amazing. Yeah, she did a really good job with Chloe. Yeah. I, also, I love Hey Ash, what you playing? Yeah. <laughs> That's just, just funny. Also, <laughs> oh, Papyrus. Kate beamed back at me. I didn't have a lot of friends when I was younger, so I read a ton of picture books. They were a big comfort to me, and I watched a lot of Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> I even kept some of them to read when I'm sad. Pretty childish, huh? No, Kate, that is adorable. Okay, you are a beautiful tropical fish. I want to say it's cute, but it's also cool. It's true. I'm gonna eat while people, while I wait for people to tell me what to say. Yeah, <laughs> that's my excuse. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. See, I would be fucking it up. I always fuck it up. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna pick this one, and then everybody's like. No, listen, you're gonna ruin everything. Okay, let's do cool. I actually think it's pretty cool. There's nothing wrong with holding on to the things that make you happy, especially if that's what you're passionate about. A little bit about. Kate nods enthusiastically. I really am. Those books helped me so much when I was little. I hope I can do the same for other kids someday. Aww. I've never seen. She is too pure for this world. Mm -hmm. Like, this is. Amazing. A perfect cinnamon roll. Too pure. No worries, mate. It's not a big deal. <laughs> We're here for the journey. <laughs> well, we didn't even save. We didn't Victoria. even. We didn't even save their Victoria yeah. or Rachel Amber or any of this. I flash her a reassuring smile. A reassuring smile. Ooh, picture book. Let's do this. You will, Kate. No doubt about it. We keep talking until the remnants of our tea have long gone cold. I hadn't even realized that it was nearly three in the afternoon. Same. As we're walking away from the small tea shop, I catch Kate smiling at me. Thanks for always listening to me, Max. You know you don't have to thank me for that. Her fingers graze across my arm gently, getting my attention. I really love how much touching there is There's in this romance. I just feel like I can talk to you about anything. Not everyone cares about what the quiet Christian girl has to say. But you genuinely do, so thanks. Before I can respond, a voice in the distance distracts us. Somebody is trying to get our attention, specifically Kate's. Oh, it's Stella. We haven't talked in forever. She looks at me questioningly. Do you care if I pop over and say hi? This is literally an Olympic event of mutual affection. <laughs> oh my gosh. Kate's like, I've already turned a toy bunny into this real bunny using my Jesus powers. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Rachel Amber was very touchy as well. Yeah. But she was like fierce and flirty. She was 30 flirty and thriving. <laughs> I practically push her in Stella's direction. You don't need my permission, jeez. I say it with a smile, happy that she feels like socializing again. Okay, okay, I'll be right back. 
I wave at her as she goes over to Stella. Stella was one of the only people to attend Kate's Bible groups. I'm glad Kate's reaching out with her friends again. They look caught up in their own conversation, so I look around for something to keep me occupied. There's a small gift shop immediately to my left. Hmm, maybe I should get something for Kate. Do it. She has had a shitty week after all. Boom, boom, picture book. Oh, look at the little dinosaur. This, these are actually really cute, like the drawings. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get her a picture book, yo. Yeah. Be like, Kate, these drawings are so much better than yours. Maybe you can copy maybe, them and maybe learn. Maybe if I give you reference, <laughs> you'll get better. <laughs> this is what you should strive for, oh, Kate. Oh, wait, what? Oops. Yes. <laughs> Very true. Rachel would just be like, slapping dad ass. Kate would be like, oh, you're so beautiful. I managed to lift to fit the gift perfectly in my bag and just in time. Kate's waving me over to where Stella was a moment ago. With a spring in my step, I run over to join her. Winfrey sleeps so crazy. More than half the day has passed when Kate and I arrived back at the school, but I barely noticed it. I forgot how much I loved hanging out with Kate and our tea dates, of course. I think she enjoyed herself too. I've seen her smile more today than she has all week. <laughs> Maybe if I give you this book, you won't have to take art advice from how to draw manga. <laughs> cinnamon tea for a cinnamon roll. <laughs> oh my god. That's adorable. I think she enjoyed herself too. I've seen her smell more today than she has all week. She seems lighter, like there's a lot less on her mind. I hope whoever was bullying her decided to back off. Also, I would just like to thank everybody joining our stream for helping me not ruin Kate's life and helping me get a perfect, beautiful, happy ending. Yes. With the true bay. Well, she's not the true bay because the true bay is the bay bay, who we have avoided and yeah. ditched abandoned. every time. Essentially abandoned. <laughs> we don't talk about that. <laughs> Oh my god, that is legit Rachel's whole story? <laughs> That's perfect. She, um, like there's a lot of, I hope whoever was bullying her has decided to back off. She mentioned someone had written something mean on her room slate. I checked it this morning while I was on my way out to find that it was still wiped clean. Thank god. It better stay that way. Dude, Max is gonna like fuck shit up. Dude. She's gonna like destroy. It's kind of chilly now, a steady breeze filling in the comfortable silence between me and Kate as we walk. She stops me when we reach the steps, putting her hand on my arm gently. Thanks again for letting me tag along, Max. She's swaying back and forth on her feet, her cheeks still rosy from our hot drinks hours ago. Always a pleasure. So, okay, with how, like, thirsty and adorable Kate has been this whole time, like, how many churches do you think she has supplied holy water to? Like, it's been, <laughs> it's been three nights, right? Or wait, no, it's been two nights. Yeah. So, like, this fountain, all holy water? <laughs> By this point? <laughs> like, just a fountain of... Yeah. Kate cum. <laughs> Always a pleasure. I pause, rubbing... Woohoo! Yay! Thanks, Lego France. <laughs> Rubbing the back of my neck nervously. I look Where's at the little Zambi. The little Zambi man. This kid. Who did you say? someone followed. But hey. I think Kate really Kate Kate's a gusher. Yeah, I think yeah, so. You think? Yeah, yeah. Probably. Yeah. She's like anointed one. Oh my god. <laughs> She's like him. Max is like, oh, baptize me, boy. Kate. <laughs> and this went straight to hell. Really <laughs> this went to hell in a handbasket. <laughs> you gotta fish it, because there's just so much holy water. Oh, me! Yay! Thanks, ghost. <laughs> Little zombie. <laughs> zambi. Little zambi. I pause, rubbing the back of my neck nervously. And, um, sorry I've been such a space case lately. I still can't help feeling a little guilty about not knowing that Kate was struggling. 
When you were staying, staying in your room all the time, I thought something was up, but I, I just didn't say anything. I feel bad. She goes every night under the darkness to refill it. Same. <laughs> she does. Kate shakes her head almost immediately. Please don't, Max. It's not your job to check up on me all the time. I guess not. I trail off, still unsure. I just hated seeing Kate so sad. Hearing her talk about how hopeless and tired she... And she felt was kind of scary. I don't want her to feel alone. I need to keep my... I need to help myself, too, like you were telling me yesterday. Besides, I feel pretty good today, so don't worry about me. <laughs> Zambi's like, Kate, Kate, resurrect me. <laughs> Zambi's actually probably like, thank you for bringing me back, Kate. <laughs> yeah. Kate I know you, water is so powerful. I know you don't normally do this. <laughs> you, you did it for Lazarus, but I know that that was kind of a personal favor, so thanks, Kate. It means a lot. <laughs> I need to help myself too. Um, oh, I already read that. So don't worry about me. Kate moves forward and grabs both of my hands, squeezing them gently. If anything, you can stress about the photo tomorrow. Not that you have any reason to. Kate is like, I know that I keep saying this and that this whole stream is me just like gushing over Kate. Yeah. But like, this is so adorable. Yeah. I grin, looking from our hands to Kate's face. What makes you so sure? Kate shrugs. I've never seen a picture of yours that wasn't pretty. And Max is like, what? All I take is selfies, though. <laughs> oh, even my selfies? After a beat, Kate smiles and nods. Especially your selfies, girl. Wink, wonk. Whoa. Oh, especially your selfies. <laughs> <laughs> the air around us feels suddenly warmer, and I look down at my bag for a distraction. Oh my god. She does, oh my god, she does the dorky neck rub. And I look she down does. at my- it's like her go-to move. It, it's her go-to move, and she does it, like, always. Woohoo, yay, thanks, Chloe. That's like, Kate, come help me, thank you for bringing me Kate. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, zombie, I That's just try to do my best. It's Chloe. It's a metaphor of Chloe dying in the background as we choose her last. <laughs> <laughs> the air around us feels suddenly warmer and I look down at my bag for a distraction. I open my bag to inspect its contents. There's the film, my phone, my camera, and Kate's gift still wrapped in the plastic gift store bag. I can't believe I almost forgot to give it to her. My brain is really fried lately. Yeah, Max, you got to give it to her. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah. <laughs> I look up at her slyly. Oh my god, yes. You sure you're feeling alright today? She looks at me questioningly. I think so, why? Well, I know you've had a hard week, so I may have gotten you something while we were out today, just in case you're still feeling sad. Whoa. Okay, like, why is Max's game so strong in Kate's romance? Actually, it makes sense because yeah. because they're like they're very like soft spoken, like pure cinnamon roll, like supporting each other. Whereas like Rachel, Amber, and Victoria are so self confident yeah. that Max is like, I am unsure. <laughs> but like Kate's like, no, Max, you can do anything you set your mind to. And Max is like, no, Kate, the same goes for you. <laughs> Surprise dawns on Kate's face and she actually gasps a little, one hand moving to her mouth. Look at her face! Oh! <laughs> she's like, the titties, though? Is this my gift? <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm fine, really. For a second I worry that I've offended her somehow, but the small smile I can see under her hand tells me otherwise. But I wanted to. I stick my hand in my bag to grasp the gift and then smile back at Kate. Now hold out your hands and don't peek. She, oblige, she obliges with a small giggle, obediently holding out a hand as her eyes gently flutter closed. Aw, that's like cute description. Yeah. I put the book in Kate's hand and watch as she carefully takes it out of the blue plastic. Her eyes widen as she looks at the cover, turning it over to look at the back design as well. I would also look, but also 
also Jesus Christ for <laughs> Max Caulfield's boobs. <laughs> Admittedly, I hadn't looked at it too closely, but the cover sported a tiny cartoon cat holding a balloon. It looked adorable, just like Kate's art. The art reminded me of your drawing, so hopefully you'll like it too. Plus, I know these cheer you up, so I figured you can't have too many. You've already been a huge help with that. Kate says this softly, maybe just to herself. Okay, so speaking of children's books that are adorable, one year when I was in high school, we had to do, like, volunteer stuff for, like, class credit. So I volunteered at the elementary school to, like, help kids read and stuff. Oh and... One of the books that was in the little basket, because every, everybody got, like, a different little basket of activities to give the kids to do, and there were, like, books inside of it. And the book that I had to read was called Nana Upstairs and Nana Downstairs, and I was like, oh, it's cute, it's about grandmas. And not only, spoiler alert, but not only does Nana Upstairs die, but Nana Downstairs also dies. And I had to, like, read this sad fucking book. About Nana upstairs and Nana downstairs dying to this group of, like, fucking second graders. And I'm like, oh, well, cool. I'm glad I got this book and have to deal with, like, mortality <laughs> and teaching infants that it's okay when your elders die. My, my only experience with being, like, a reading buddy mm -hmm. for, for younger kids was the time that I got paired up with someone who did not like me for some reason. What do you I mean for say, some reason? No, I didn't say anything like this was before I, we had even talked or said anything she decides she's gonna take a hardcover book and fucking like keep hitting me in the head with it <laughs> she continues doing this to the point to where one of my friends who is sitting across from me who is quietly reading to her buddy looks over and is like um <laughs> just is like mm, all right Turn, it turns out, apparently, apparently, like, my dad ended up getting her as a student later on when she was, like, a sixth grader or something like that, and she's, like, a super sweet kid. <laughs> she just knew. She saw you and went, this is someone who needs to get hit repeatedly in the head because look at her. <laughs> she knew your, she knew your inner self. <laughs> Oh, oh, God. No. I'm sorry, Breezling. <laughs> I think you win. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Kate did personally pick Max's boobs. Yeah. She, like, sculpted them <laughs> perfectly, and she's like, yes, I will need these later. <laughs> and Pinky, that is so true. Max, Max already tapped the power. Oh, tragedy. Her eyes are still busy on the pages she's flipping through, her grin broadening as she does. Finally, she closes it and looks back up at me. Bless your soul, Max. This is adorable. Look at it. Kate says, like, cute-ass little things, like, bless your soul and shit. <laughs> she hugs the book against her chest, and the smile she gives me is absolutely angelic. I love it. I can tell she's sincere Bless as always. Soul, I'm gonna fuck that body. <laughs> yes, she. Good. I'm glad you like it because boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. Um, and I can't stop my own grin from spreading across my face. Glad to hear it. Just then, the clouds, which have been blocking the sun for most of the afternoon, moved away from each other so that we could see the colors on the dusky sky. Kate smiles, despite having to shield her eyes a little as she looks at the strong glow of the sun. It's going to set soon. I could probably get some good shots. I wonder what Kate would say if I asked her to watch it with me. While I took pictures, of course. Would that be too weird? We are just friends, after all. No, you ain't. No, you ain't. We're gonna tap this. <laughs> are a pirate. Yar har fiddly dee. God damn it. I just had that song stuck out of my head and now you brought <laughs> stuck it Stuck out of your head. Well, no, wait. I just got that song out of my head after it was stuck in my head for 10 years. <laughs> I know. I thought that we were going to avoid dense max, but she's here in full force. Yep, she's here. She's like, what's a croissant? <laughs> I don't understand. Are me and Kate just friends? <laughs> she keeps touching me married for 14 years still don't know where we stand where, but where do we stand <laughs> looks like the clouds are finally clearing 
still a little chilly, though. Maybe we should head back inside. Kate pulls out her phone and checks the time, her eyes widening in surprise. Wow, I guess it is a bit late. Time flies when you're having fun. Whoa, damn, girl, I did such a good job! <laughs> she nods eagerly with a laugh, and the way the light hits her face makes her look radiant. It certainly does, but now it's back to the real world. Her words remind me of what I wanted to ask her, and I want to make sure nobody's been giving her... I want to make sure nobody's been giving her more grief. <laughs> Your diddly darn neck. I reach out and touch Kate's shoulder gently. Maybe not just yet. I wanted to talk to you about something. About, um, the people who have been bullying you. She shrugs like she's not used to people asking after her. I hope that's not the case. Boop. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> you want to sit down somewhere? I nod, letting Kate lead the way. A thought occurs to me as I look to the horizon. You know, it's gonna be a really pretty sunset. We should stay outside long enough to watch it. Kate smiles knowingly back at me. Oh my god, she like Look knows at her. that Jesus is preparing the greatest sunset for them to watch. Well, uh, well, she's preparing it. She's like, yeah, Max, I know. The sunset's gonna be fucking gorgeous. We're not gonna miss it for the world. And she's also <laughs> like... stop time until we are ready to watch the sunset. Itching to test it. Oh my god, we get to ask her to go steady with me? Oh wait, I'm ready. And to watch it with one of my best friends. What do you say? Kate seems to glow with pride at my words and nods. We sit on one of the benches outside the dorms, getting a good view of the sun dipping behind the trees. Another breeze shifts past us as Kate rubs her shoulders. Oh, it's getting chilly now. Offer hoodie! Offer hoodie! Yes. You can offer her your hoodie. Oh my god. You can offer her your hoodie. I know, I heard. Oh my god. I shrug the hoodie off of my shoulders and offer it to Kate, who looks at me with surprise. Here you go. Oh shit. Are you sure you're not... Nah, it's fine. I lived in Seattle, remember? I'm used to the cold. The cold never bothered me anyway. <laughs> She puts it on. It almost fits her, but the arms are a little too long, so she pulls them over her hands. It's pretty adorable. <gasps> That's so cute. She's like, like with the little arms in her head, like, blah, 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 like little wormies. She turns back to me and smiles gratefully. <laughs> You're sweet, Max. Thank you. I'm not sure if the goosebumps that go up my bare arms are entirely from the cold. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Well, clearly this is something that we need to look up. <laughs> Do you want to build a snowman? Oh my god. <laughs> Well, you know it's gonna get intense because it's Wednesday. It's holy shit! It is. It's, it's only Wednesday. Yeah, like, and Wednesday is always the most intense day. <laughs> yeah, Link. I'm not sure if the goosebumps that go up my arms are entirely from the cold. So, what's on your mind? I shift a little, thinking on my words. I don't want to bring up any bad memories for Kate, especially had after she had such a nice time today. Uh, I just wanted to make sure you're okay after what you told me. I hope I didn't come off as too bossy. I didn't mean to tell you how to run your life. I just don't want to see you get hurt anymore. After a pause, Kate making sure I finish, she replies, That's really sweet of you, Max, but you don't have to apologize. I needed to hear what you said. Oh my gosh. She's not looking at me, playing with the loose thread on her shirt. This might surprise you, but I'm not as delicate as everyone thinks I am. Or at least I try not to me, uh, not to be. I just forget sometimes, you know. I like Kate. Yeah. Kate keeps it real. When everyone sees you as this shy, scared little Christian girl, it's kind of hard to break away from that. Nobody understands that there's more to me. Oh my God, is Kate you? <laughs> she looks back up at me a little anxiously. Do you even? <laughs> Do you even? <laughs> I can't even, Max. 
She seems so troubled. I want to grab her hand and apologize. Tell her that I'm sorry for bringing it up again. Yeah, Max, you get your shit together. But it's too late now. Kate, you know I understand. What brought this on? Boop. Boop, boop, boop. behind that. Yes. I can get behind. I love the <laughs> rabbit. <laughs> the rabbit's like, Sin. 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 I, I'm down. This is, this is what I needed in my life. Yes. Okay, let's go. Wait. Mini. Okay. That's perfect. You've been so nice to me and I'm so happy that you picked me to help you with the contest. But I don't want you to feel like you have to just because you feel bad for me. She looks away again, focusing on the rings on her fingers instead of me. I know I get sad sometimes, and it's not always easy for me to make friends. That's why I want to make sure the friendships that I actually do make are genuine. Do you understand, Max? I don't want anyone's pity. Yes, queen. Mm -hmm. I understand. I'm going to say I understand, but I'm going to wait. Just in case it's like, mm -hmm. you fucked it up. Okay, I clearly need to follow her Tumblr because those are adorable. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought, racers. I just... I can't mess it up. Whoop. It sucks that Kate has to feel this way, but I understand where she's coming from. If I had been in her position, people whispering behind my back and bullying me, I'd be a little paranoid too. I know where you're coming from, Kate, but you don't have to worry about that with me. You really think I would have spent the whole day with you just because I feel sorry for you? I reach over and brush my knuckles against her shoulder, getting her to look up at me. Oh I had an awesome time today, and that's because I'm hanging out with you. There's only one Kate Marsh, and I'm glad she's my friend. This is so fucking cute. Yep. Like, it's very difficult to sin with this amazing adorableness, but yep. at the same time, I'm going to. Yes. After a moment, Kate smiles. I still think you're way too nice, Max, but I believe you. Good. I'll always be here for you, Kate. Allie, that's the way to do it. You just gotta you just gotta go and live your life and just get that sexy, sexy commission, not safe for work art. Yep. yep. That's what you gotta do. Oh, well, see, there you go. You just gotta go for it. You just gotta you just gotta get it done. Like there is you just gotta embrace all of it. Mm -hmm. I'll always be here for you, Kate. I know. You get me, Max. I realize I haven't been giving her enough credit. Kate looks so sure of herself right now, completely the opposite of yesterday. Could it really be that easy for her attitude to turn around, just like flipping a switch? I'm not sure. But I trust Kate, and hearing how steady she sounds takes a huge weight off my shoulders. Just don't be afraid to ask when you need help. I can't always take a hint. This makes her giggle a little, breaking the serious air completely. Look at them! They're like joking. They're like so healthy. Like their relationship is so pure. I know. Hey, that's the part where you're supposed to disagree. We're both laughing now. Shouldn't you be taking pictures right now? You're gonna miss your shot. Kate innocently gestures towards the setting sun. She's right. Ooh, I, sh the setting sun. I shake my head at her before grabbing my camera out of my bag. Looks like you're off the hook for now. The sun glares against the trees, making them look back, look black and daunting. The tips of the leaves on the branches light up, giving them fiery glow. This is my favorite time to take nature shots. The sunset makes the entire world light up, just like Kate. I catch Kate watching me while I take photos, a small smile on her face. I aim the camera in her direction and she immediately ducks, suddenly shy. Come on, no, don't waste your film on me. Oh my god, Clark Chip forever. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man, the sinniest Alfie's undying. <laughs> oh, oh Clip. Clip is, Clip is true, Clip is pure. I don't know, Melissa, if you've been following the 100 drama, but like, 
You know how Lexa had that chip in the back of her neck? People are oh. now shipping Clark with the chip. Oh my god. And it's that's amazing. amazing. Right, oh, insane. that's amazing. Oh, did Mariah just like Yeah, she's she's like, gone. Like the romance of the Kate room, and Max. It like, was too her it, to it caressed <laughs> it like <laughs> it wrapped her in a warm, snuggly blanket and she just like passed the fuck out. Oh babe. Mm-hmm. Oh, that sounds amazing. Come on, no, don't waste your film on- Oh my god, look at how cute this drawing of Kate is. Look at it, look at it, what? Melissa, what? look at it. It's adorable. Look at her. Kate, a picture of you would not be a waste. Oh, they're both blushy. They're like, mm -hmm. ah. No. I lowered the camera from my face and meet her eyes. I'm the professional here, I know my stuff. Kate rolls her eyes good-naturedly. Later, okay? Just focus on your sunset for now. Oh my, later. Kate wants her to take pictures later. Oh my god! In the bedroom. Yeah. Secret. Not safe for work, work pictures. Wow, wow. It really does. I'm a little disappointed, but I turn my, back, my camera back in the direction of the trees. Now Kate's watching it too, smiling and bunching the hoodie I gave her around her shoulders as another gust of wind blows. She seems to be happy I offered, at least. Satisfied with my work, I put my camera away, and Kate rises from the bench. I should get going now. Talk to you later. I nod, smiling. Sure, I'll text you. I told the hospital staff we'd be there around 2 tomorrow. You know what bus to take, right? Want to head up there together? That way I won't be tempted to mash the snooze button too many times. She giggles, nodding. Sure, I'd like that. She gives a small wave before heading back inside. I'm glad Kate seems excited for tomorrow. I know we're gonna take a great photo together. After a quick dinner, I head back to my room. I was planning on catching up on schoolwork, but I'm too wired to focus. Anxiety about the contest photo is setting in, making me feel excited and nervous at the same time. I wonder how Kate's feeling. <laughs> That's amazing. I love all of the Lexa memes. They're so perfect. <laughs> Yes, Kate's blush ends all wars. Anxiety about, um, I wonder how Kate's feeling. I shove my science textbook to one side and pull out my phone. An incoming text lights up the screen as I do. Seems like I kind of made off with your hoodie. Come back in my room and pick it up tonight. If you want to, that is. Kate has got some game. She does. She was like, she knew that she had that hoodie. She's yep. like, I'm not going to give it back. I'm going to make her get it. Yep. She is going to. She's gonna come get it. Come get it. As come get it. As if I wouldn't want to. Sure, I actually felt like take, talking to you anyway, Smiley. Is it cool? Is it okay if I come by now? Look at it. She's so, like, comfortable. <laughs> the chip The chip has its own, own candles, and it's like, what? I sense them. <laughs> I sense the candles. <laughs> There's a two-for-one sale at Bath & Body Works. Indra, we need to go now. <laughs> Perfect, XOXOXO. I love that Kate has a flower crown in this picture. Like, I just love it. I can't tell if she's just excited to have people visiting her dorm room again, or just because it's me in particular. Where do we stand? Yeah, seriously, Max. Max is always trying to get all up on Kate. Either way, I'm glad she feels like being social again. I better head over to her room before it gets too late. Doors open, Max. I enter Kate's room after I hear her soft voice shutting the door behind me. She looks up from her seat on her bed and smiles. Yes. Her long hair is out of its bun, falling around her shoulders like a fluffy mane. I wonder if she only wears her hair down when she's alone. It looks so pretty. <gasps> Gorgeous. I'm seeing so much of you lately. Ooh. Hopefully that's not a bad thing. Damn, Max. Flirt game strong. Max Kate rolls knows. her eyes at the assumption. Of course not. She glances around the room self-consciously. It's a little messy, but nothing too severe. Some of her books are lying on the floor, as well as new articles of clothing. New articles of clothing? Okay, I'm ready for, I'm ready for the weighted choice. Sorry about the mess. I've kind of let it go the past couple days. This is nothing. 
What are you talking about? You should see my room when I study for finals. It looks like a war zone. Yay! Oh my god. Max totally wants to run her fingers through Kate's hair. She's like, yes. Now is the time. Kate giggles at that. Still, I could have tidied up a little. I look at her reassuringly. Seriously, don't sweat it. Kate gives me a warm smile in return. She pats the spot next to her, her on the bed, and I take the hint to sit down beside her, tucking my feet up under me. I'm actually glad you decided to stop by. The remark catches me off guard. Why's that? Kate looks me over, a little concerned. You just seem a little tense. Ooh. Yeah, if there is, if there are links to art with Kate with her hair down, I would not say no. <laughs> I just realized you've never actually seen Kate with her hair down. No, we haven't. Oh my god. It's probably like fucking gorgeous. Look at how much hair there is. Like yeah, it's gonna be like lot. amazing. Like she's like fucking Princess Amadala right now. <laughs> 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 the sun moves. <laughs> oh my god. It's time. I'm ready. I'm so excited. Go, go, go. It's time. Oh, hey, girl. Oh, hell oh, yes. Oh my god. She's like Hermione. She oh, so cute. So cute. Oh, I like it. Adorable. Oh, another one. Yes. yes. Let's get this shit going. She has much floof. <laughs> All of the floof hair. Aww. That's cute. Oh no, that's okay, Cliff Racers. These ones are perfect. They're adorable. You seem a little tense. Kate's gonna like get that tension right out. Don't tell me you're still worried about the photo. I thumb the back of my neck sheepishly. Oh my Just a little performance anxiety, I guess. Kate, give her a massage. <laughs> Kate rolls her eyes and puts her hand over mine, pressing down softly. I already think your photos are amazing, Max. You don't have to worry about impressing me. <laughs> she is a floofy lamb. I feel a warmness in my cheeks. I can always count on Kate to believe in me. It's not you I'm worried about, Kate. I know, I don't have to worry about you, it's just, I don't wanna disappoint everyone else, I guess. Everyone's rooting for us to win this contest and it would make me feel like an ass to let them down. I look at her apologetically. I love how everyone in this photography school is just like, Max needs to win. <laughs> not me, not Hermione, <laughs> you, you, Harry. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to get so emo on you. This makes Kate giggle. You're fine. Lord knows you've listened to me being sad enough. I exhale, leaning against the wall. I like Kate. <laughs> you actually have reasons to be sad. I'm just being a baby. After a beat, Kate shakes her head resolutely. It's true. You are. Oh, that's not true, Max. If there's anything I've learned from you, it's that our feelings are always valid. You learn that from me? Kate smiles. Of course. I used to think my problems were silly, too, but... Being around you has made me realize that my feelings are important. It's nice to have someone who cares. I'm proud of Kate all over again. I can't believe how much she's learned from me. <laughs> I'm so wise. <laughs> I can't believe how much she's smiling again. After the hard week that, after the hard week she had dealing with Blackwell snobs, I'm glad I could help her, but most of this is on Kate, of course. She really is a fighter. So many people care about you, Kate. I know, I'm just starting to realize that now. My mom called me just a while ago. She looks away from me, down to the phone next to her. Oh shit, Kate had mentioned her family was strict. I hope they didn't yell at her. Is everything okay? She nods, looking back up with a small smile. Yeah, Mrs. Grant called her saying that I looked like I had been crying a lot lately, which... She doesn't finish the sentence and I had to take the cue to cut her off. Yeah, did you have a nice talk? As good as it can get, she was just worried, asking me a ton of questions. You know, moms. <laughs> then my sisters wanted to talk, and my dad, of course. I felt pretty bad making them worry. I remember seeing a family photo on Kate's desk. At the time, I thought they looked kind of intimidating, but hearing Kate talk about them so fondly makes me feel otherwise. 
It makes me happy that Kate gets support at home, too. You get along well with your family, huh? That's great. They can be strict sometimes, especially my mom. We don't always see eye to eye, but I think that she means well. Even she accepts me no matter what. My whole family does. I think about what Kate said on our tea date. Why do you let them pressure you so much then? I mean, they already think the world of you. You shouldn't have to try so hard to impress them. Kate shrugs, letting my words hang in the air in the silence for a moment before answering. Well, I guess it's kind of like how you think you're going to let people down if you don't win the contest. When you love someone or many people, you don't want them to be sad. It makes you want to try harder, even when you're not sure that you can. People believing in you and the love they project, it gives you courage. Wow, is she like writing proverbs right now? I think like, she is this is. like Psalms? Yeah. yeah. Like, I think so. she's going for it. Yeah. I can't help but smile. Kate sounds so passionate and hopeful talking about this stuff. I hadn't thought about it that way, but you're right. <laughs> so true. <laughs> Love. The word seems to make Kate glow every time she says it. It lights up her whole face. You can teach me oral, Kate, anytime. Perfect love casts out fear. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's like a Bible. <laughs> a Bible in the, itself. I turned to her confused. What's that from? The Bible. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Bible verse. Well, part of one. She stops a little self-consciously. Don't worry, I'm not going to start preaching to you, despite what certain people would have you believe. I don't force my religion on anyone. She must be talking about the people who bullied her. How stupid making Kate feel bad about her beliefs is a low blow. Ah. Never crossed my mind, and that's a nice quote. She looks down shyly. I like it because it reminds me of what you were saying the other day, how there's a lot of support in my life from you and others. You help me remember. Her words are soft, but they hold a lot of weight. So I'm going to keep being strong. Since everybody else believes in me, there's no reason that I can't believe in myself. She says this with a determined attitude. No hesitation. S sounds like a plan. Uh, I wasn't listening. Oh my god. That is Kate's Guide to Seduction. Yeah. I'm proud of you. Okay, I have picked like every wrong choice. Wow. Thank you, chat, for leading, for being the shepherd to my stray wayward lamb. <laughs> I'm so relieved at how confident she sounds. It feels like I don't have to worry about Kate after all. Maybe I never did. That's awesome, Kate. I'm really proud of you. She beams, lighting up her whole face. God, she looks like such an angel when she smiles. Make out, make out. I'm proud of me, too. And if anyone's mean to me again, the plagues. <laughs> I will rain fire and kill everyone's firstborn son. Same. Kate's face becomes deadly serious. The mane of hair framing her face makes the stare even more intimidating. Is she actually going to rain the fire? I'll just get meaner. Wow. I think Kate actually will bring the plagues. I think she will. I think Kate will flood the earth. Yeah. She'll be like, Max, stimulate my clitoris so I can drown everybody in hellfire. <laughs> <laughs> A fucking men. Bonus photo unlocked. Oh my god. Wait, what? My reaction makes Kate burst out laughing. She brushes a few stray hairs away from her face and clears her throat. I'm kidding. Sorry if I scared you. I don't think I'm that tough anyway. I like Kate. Kate, Kate knows how to joke. After a pause, I laugh as well. I love Kate's silly side. You are it tough, Kate. It scares the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to die and burn in hell. Well, mark me as horny and afraid. <laughs> Seriously, standing up for yourself takes a lot of badassness. She shrugs, but I can tell from her grin that she takes my word to heart. We talk for a little bit longer about nothing in particular. My anxiety about the contest photo slowly melts away the more Kate speaks. She's one of those people who can make you feel calmer, excuse me, by just being around her. I'm really happy I decided to spend so much time with her today. As I'm about to leave, Kate puts her hands on my shoulder. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> do you feel better now? I nod. 
Thanks for listening, Kate. It helped a lot. Good. We stand by her door for a minute. Kate looks like she wants to say something. Sleep over. Sleep over. Make out. Make yes. out. Make yes. out. Yes. I'm about to ask. Oh. I, I, I accidentally skipped ahead and read pulling me in, and then I read quick hug. I thought it was going to be a kiss. I got, like, really excited. <laughs> I'm about to ask when she moves forward and quickly and gently puts her arms around my shoulders, pulling me in for a quick hug. After a moment, I tentatively hug her back, and she sighs contentedly before pulling away. Sorry, you really look like you could use one. Hugs always make me feel better when I'm stressed. It did make me feel better, like some of Kate's natural warm energy rubbed off on me. I wish Kate's other natural warm things would rub off on me. <laughs> I smile back at her. Me too, but for the record, you never have to apologize for hugging me. Kate laughs softly. I'll remember that. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, good night, Kate. Thanks to Kate, I go back to my room with a grin on my face. Aww. Thursday. Oh, crap. I didn't sleep that well last night, but it was mostly due to excitement. Today's the photo shoot with Kate's kids at the hospital. I managed to get up early and make it to the bus stop on time to meet my partner. Kate's in good spirits the whole ride over. Her smile is contagious, making me feel light and happy the whole way over. Oh, wait, I need to read the journal. The more I think about people bullying Kate, the more pissed off I feel. Who the hell would bully Kate Marsh? She's never done anything mean to anyone. When I first started at Blackwell, she was one of the very first people to go out of their way to introduce themselves to me. And I feel like shit that she has, she's has. she been coping with this and I didn't ask about it sooner. We went to the boardwalk today so I could pick up some new film and after we decided to have some tea and a good talk. I decided to grab something for her, excuse me, from a gift shop while she was distracted, crossing my fingers that she liked it. I got her a picture book, and I'm pretty sure she loved it. Her smile said everything I needed to know about her feelings. We watched the sun. <coughs> Excuse me. We watched the sun start to set together, and I thought about asking her to watch it with me, but I started to kind of feel weird about it, so I didn't say anything. At least until I was itching to get to another topic. Kate's bullies. So we sat and watched the sunset while I tried to say what I wanted to say without messing all my words up. I just don't want Kate to be hurt anymore, except Kate insisted that she's not made of glass. She straight up told me that she didn't want me feeling sorry for her, or anyone else's pity for that matter. And she's totally right. I would hate to have people treat me differently or with pity too, but that's not why I hang out with her. I hang out with Kate because I like Kate, period. Being pitied is really, well, it's probably humiliating for someone like her, who says she knows how to fend for herself. I don't know what it's like to be Kate Marsh because we had totally different upbringings. I can probably count all the times I've been to a church since childhood on one hand, but because Kate is, quote, different than most of us, she deals with totally different things. I'm trying really hard to understand, to get where she's coming from. I don't want to mess it up. After class and dinner, I headed over to Kate's room to see her. The first thing she did was apologize about the mess. There wasn't much of one, but she has been holed up in her room lately, and now I unfortunately know why. She was pretty happy to see me, and we sat on her bed and talked about how we feel about the contest. I don't want to disappoint everyone, or myself, or Kate. I felt dumb going on about how insecure I am, but Kate, ever understanding, pointed out that how we feel is equally important. She really is awesome. I'm so glad to call her my friend. Listening to her talk, I was glad to learn that she gets a lot of support at home. I'm really proud of her. She's holding her head up despite everything. I hope she knows just how brave she is. Maybe I should make my admiration even more obvious. I don't have enough... Excuse me. I don't have enough words for how inspiring I find her attitude to be. I think we both feel better now. I just don't want her to be hurt. Perfect love casts out fear. So powerful. As soon as we get inside, Kate has a quick word with the receptionist, then returns to my side. The kids are just finishing up breakfast, so we have a little bit of time to wait. We can sit down over there. She gestures to the waiting area, and we both take a seat. I take my camera out of my bag and look over it to make sure it's ready for action. I already loaded it up with the film I bought yesterday before we left, but I'm trying to distract myself while we wait. Kick the water! Oh! Oh no. Melissa. I know. Melissa. I know. Melissa. I know. I kicked it everywhere. Leave. I'm leaving. Kate is all smiles beside me, her hand folded up in her lap as she looks at the elevator. You excited to see your kids? 
Kate looks at me and nods, beaming. She's so pure. I am. The reception has said that they're excited to see us. Nothing eventful really happens around here, as you can imagine. I nudge her arm playfully. They're probably more excited to see you than me. Well, of course, Max. She goes like every day. Kate giggles. Don't worry, they'll warm up to you if you let them. She looks at me meaningfully. You're a very lovable person, Max. Her praise catches me off guard and I feel a sudden warmness in my face. There she goes again, being way too sweet. Praise kink. Woohoo! Oh, that's so cute. Those are cute. So much cute fan art, so little time. Thanks for all these Lynx uh, racers, they're amazing. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Never mind, Warren. That's funny. Her praise catches, uh, catches me off guard, and I <laughs> literally, same mate. And uh, there she goes again, being way too sweet. If, if you say so. I'm not sure if I believe it myself, but anyone should be the authority on lovable people. It's Kate Marsh. You're an awesome person, Max. Excuse me. I mean, look at what you did for me yesterday. Letting me tag along with you on your errand when you didn't have to, and even buying me a gift while you were at it. Oh, look at them. That one's cute. They're so hipster. It's so powerful. Kate's still tripping on that. I'm glad I wasn't the only one who had a lot of fun on her outing yesterday. I thought I was doing Kate a favor inviting her out for a couple hours since she had been so lonely over the past week, but I ended up enjoying myself a lot more than I had planned. Ooh, excuse me, I'm sorry I'm yawning so much. I couldn't stop thinking about all the smiling and laughing Kate had done yesterday, how happy and carefree she was. It felt like a blessing, as Kate would say. Being around her while she was the happiest made me feel great too. Honestly, I never wanted the day to end. Just me and Kate walking around the mostly vacant boardwalk, the sound of the ocean, and the only soundtrack to our conversation. It was such a relaxing break from life. If anything, I should be the one thanking Kate. It's what friends do, don't sweat it. She gives me a wide grin, the morning light streaming in from the wide hospital window, giving her a whole face a warm glow. Then you are one of the most precious friends I have. Oh, look at them. They're so precious. My face feels warm, but I can't turn away from Kate. Kiss in the hospital. The same goes for you. Kate looks down, suddenly shy, but continues taking, talking in that sweet, soft voice of hers. Yesterday was the most fun I've had in a long time. It really meant so much to me, Max. Ooh, let's look at these draws. Aww, those are cute. I like the braid. <laughs> Floof. Quintessential Marshfield. It's time. Time to just look at all of the links. Paste and go. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, look at it. Oh my god. <laughs> That's adorable. These are great. Thank you for sharing the links, everyone. 
Oh. And, uh, yesterday was the most fun I've had in a long time. It really meant so much to me, Max. I'm just glad you had fun. <laughs> My heart is practically melting. <coughs> Excuse me. It literally is. Looks like I've been doing a good job making feel Kate feel appreciated. And not even just that, she looks so much happier, too. Her eyes, her tired eyes wide and bright again. Ah, shit. Go back too tiny. I'm glad. Kate has done enough time in this, enough time in hell this week. I hope she can always feel this good. I'm just glad that you had fun, Kate. That's important to me. Kate reaches out and tentatively takes my wrist, squeezing it gently. You're such a sweet soul, Max, always looking out for me, like a guardian angel. Whoa, is that what Kate really thinks of me? <laughs> Literally. Just be gay, kids. It'll cure everything. I have to look away for a moment, pulling at my bangs nervously. The gentleness in Kate's voice makes me trip on my words for a moment. C come on, let's get serious. I'm nowhere near an angel unless you want to hire me. Kate shakes her head. Trust me, I know angels. Jesus is literally like, no, I know them. You are like the best one. And you, Max Caulfield, definitely fit the criteria. I'm not sure if I agree, but I can't bring myself to argue with Kate on this one. She does know her stuff after all. I love, I love how Max is like, well, if you're going to call me an angel, I mean. Kate knows. Jesus knows angels. I guess it takes one to know one, huh? Oh my god. Uh, Kate Marsh just called Max an angel. And Max is like, I'm not an angel. And then, like, Kate's like, no, you, you totally are. I know the criteria. And I'm like, Kate is actually Jesus. And then look at Max being like the smoothest motherfucker right now. Like, oh my God. I guess it takes one to know one, huh? This time Kate is at a loss. Max is the gay girl to my Jesus. <laughs> Blinking at me before shaking her head and giggling. Very smooth. Oh, even Kate recognizes it. She's trying to play it off, but I can see the faint blush on her cheeks. The same one I probably had a few moments ago. After another minute passes, the receptionist... Oh, life's so hard, buddy. Uh, the receptionist gives us a thumbs up, and Kate rises to her feet, gesturing towards the elevator. They're ready for us now. I give my camera one more look over before putting it back into my bag, then I get to my feet as well. Let's not keep them waiting, then. Kate seems pleased by my enthusiasm, practically skipping over to the elevator. It's weird, but I'm really excited to see what the sick kids do. <laughs> I remember For some reason I'm excited. <laughs> I remember my stomach twisting up in knots when I came here the first time, thanks to my bad experiences with hospitals. I told myself that I would do it for Kate since she seemed so determined that this was a special place. And she had been right, of course. Watching her make those kids smile was so cute that I could just stay in the moment and forget everything else. I feel the same today. I haven't felt any less relaxed since I stepped through the door. Something I never imagined I could do. What changed? The answer is obvious. She's standing by the elevator. Whoa. When I'm with Kate, I feel like I can make it through anything. Her tough inner strength rubbing off on me. She's an awesome partner to have for this contest. Even if we don't win, at least we'll have a photo to remember the great week we had working together. Time to go up there and take the shot. We step out of the elevator to the children's wing. No need to worry about lighting or scenery here. The fun, friendly colors really make the whole area stand out. I can hear the voices of the kids from down the hall. Oh man, they sound psyched. Kate's face lights up just from hearing them. Told you they'd be excited. Do you have anything specific in mind for the photo? The kids are a little hard to organize when they're this rowdy, but I can work a little magic if needed. She's just powerful beauty. There's a lot. Like, there's a lot happening here. Mm -hmm. I rub the back of my neck sheepishly. Max is, like, rubbing her neck 24-7 around Kate Marsh. Yep. Like, her neck is going to be gone. Mm -hmm. Like, her head is just going to, like, fall off onto the floor and be like, Oh my god, Jesus, Kate, please fix this. <laughs> oh, crap. Very professional, Max. Prepared as usual. I, uh, actually don't. Thankfully, Kate doesn't seem worried. Still smiling as patiently as ever. Excuse me. She always has complete faith in me. <laughs> I see. What should we do then? After a moment, I answer. 
Let's just let them play like they usually do. I'm sure I'll find something that stands out. Kate nods her head. Improvising, I like it. I smile at her approval. The kids are the stars after all. I figure they'll do the work for us. Child labor. Same. At the mention of kids, Kate's face lights up. A lot of them do love the attention, so let's not keep them waiting. Kate leads the way as we go down the hall and into the main area where all the children are gathered. The volume of their chatter increases as soon as they notice us standing in the entryway. They all dart towards Kate, each trying to make their excited voices heard. I'm amazed at, at, how, at how they listen when Kate gently shushes them. You guys remember my friend Max, right? She and I would love your help on our project. We just need a photo, so don't mind her snapping away on her cool camera. Kate looks over her shoulder at me, then winks at her young friend. Look at how cute! My ovaries have exploded. <laughs> She's a little shy, so she might not say much. Oh my god. I smile back appreciatively. She must have noticed me hanging back again. I'm not sure how to interact with the kids yet. All you have to do is be yourselves and we'll take care of the rest. Think you can do that? The children all nod enthusiastically, hanging on to her every word. After a few more minutes of the kids talking to Kate, they disperse to pick up toys and coloring books. Kate and I watch them together for a while and I take a few pictures just for fun. The kids are in their own little world. Even with the distractions of the colorful room, Kate's still like a magnet to them. Even the ones who look shy don't hesitate to come and greet her talking in soft voices while she listens with wide, interested eyes. Kate's always like that, making time for you, making you feel special. No wonder the kids love her so much. The sound of the door to the children's ring wing being opened makes us look over. A nurse stands at the entrance with a small girl holding a stuffed rabbit close to her. She has a ball of cotton taped to her arm like she just got blood drawn. That would explain why she looks so sad, poor little thing. Kate doesn't hesitate to get to her feet, meeting the girl at the door. She sinks down to her knees, and the little girl immediately embraces her. Oh my god, Kate is actually Jesus. Max, you better get a picture of this. <laughs> it's the sweetest thing I've seen all day. Picture. The girl is instantly soothed when Kate begins talking to her. It feels like such a special moment. It gives me an idea. I walk over to them and put a hand on Kate's shoulder to get her attention. Stay right there. I think I found our shot. Kate sees me getting my camera ready, and her eyes widen. You want me in the photo too, Max? I don't know. She looks unsure, but I know what I'm doing. Now I just have to convince Kate. You belong in this shot. Right? You, you belong in this shot? That's my guess. Yeah! I got one right! Oh my god, you did it. I like, <laughs> I would not be able to romance Kate because Kate would like sense and she'd be like, you're not good enough for me. Stand aside. I squeeze her shoulder to reassure her. Kate, you belong in this shot. Without you, we wouldn't even have a place to take it or know of the kids here. Kate still looks unconvinced. Right, so shouldn't they be the ones that we should be focused on? That's just it, Kate. I think you're the reason they're smiling. You're so kind and gentle with them. You listen to them and they obviously love you. You're natural with them. That's not something everyone can do. I sure wouldn't know how to cheer up a bunch of sick lonely kids missing their parents but you can wow <laughs> max would just go in there and be like whoa your guys' life fucking sucks <laughs> too bad your parents don't love you kick flips out <laughs> off to have a successful photography career without you that takes a special person so i feel it's only fair that we should include the person responsible for the happy kids in our photo kate looks genuinely move excuse me Genuinely moved by my words, breaking out into a big smile. Always take the shot. <laughs> Always take the shot, Max. A special person. Goodness, that's so sweet of you to say, Max. I shrug as if it's the most obvious thing in the world, which it is. Kate has an incredibly special gift for caring about others, and this photo is really going to stand out thanks to that. It's only the truth, so how about it? Kate nods without hesitation. Okay, as long as it's okay with Cheryl here... Kate whispers something to the little girl who nods shyly after looking up at me. Kate gives me a thumbs up. Looks like I got the kid's seal of approval. I stand back to give them some space. Kate takes the little girl's attention off of me, talking to her in her gentlest voice. While they're busy talking to each other, I take the photo, the noise from the camera not even phasing them. 
Oh, look it. It's so cute. And she's like, you just met Jesus, motherfucker. Enjoy your time standing this close to greatness. <laughs> Eventually, Cheryl goes to play with the other kids, and Kate joins me again. How was that? I hold out the photo for her. It's so cute. See for yourself. Kate takes it gently and actually covers her mouth as she looks at it. Her reaction makes me burst out grinning. It is an adorable picture. I love it. Kate looks at it for another moment, then nods, handing it back to me. It's wonderful, Max. She turns her attention back to the kids at play. Expression unreadable. Her voice sounds too quiet, even for Kate. Crap, did I do something wrong? Is everything okay? She turns back to look at me, smiling. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I was just thinking. She nods to the table where the children are seated. I know if we, I, I know we got our photo, but I would like to sit and draw with these guys for a while, if that's okay. Kate obviously doesn't feel like sharing, so I don't push it. Maybe I can ask her later. Letting her relax with her kids is more important. Sure, we've got time. Kate is like struggling with gay thoughts. Legit. She is. Well, that's one for the books. I can't wait to see what everyone thinks about the photo that Kate and I took. Personally, I'm really proud of it. No matter who Mixed Dogs decides the winners are, I think Kate feels the same way. At least, I hope she does. She got so quiet all of a sudden after I saw the photo. It's kind of strange when she looked so happy as I took the picture. <laughs> they really do. That is actually what is happening. Yep. What if she didn't actually want to be in the photo? I did spring it on her last minute. I just went with my gut feeling that Kate was what we were missing in our photo. People aren't props, Max. You can't just order them around to get the perfect shot or whatever. Ugh. All right, hold up, Max. Stop freaking out. Kate's always honest with me, so I have to trust her when she said that she approved of the photo. But then why did she look so sad? <laughs> Cheryl has two days to live, Max. Stop being a dick. <laughs> I flop down on the bed and groan. I'd love to talk to her, make sure she's okay, but what if... I can hear Chloe's voice in the back of my head telling me to stop second-guessing myself. If she were here, she'd be kicking my ass just for hiding in my room and moping. Why should I be nervous to talk to Kate anyway? We never had a hard time understanding each other. I can talk to her about anything. I feel stupid for even stressing over it. I practically jump to my feet and walk over to my door. I'll just stop by her room and see if she's around. Shit, should I text her first? A thought popped into my head. It's one of my hands is turning the door handle, the other one going straight for my phone. I swipe the screen to unlock it and... Shit, that hurt. My head knocks right into something, what? sending me stumbling backwards and almost onto my ass. Wait, How did I run this. into the door? Wow. I, a soft groan besides me answers my question. It wasn't the door I ran into. <laughs> sorry, sorry, my fault. You go, Kate. Oh my god. Kate's looking at the ground, holding her head in one hand. Nice one, Max. You probably gave her a concussion. I shake my head, trying to focus, despite the dull throbbing in my brain. I put my hand on Kate's back to steady her. Ooh. Gay. Gay. Sorry, totally not your fault. Are you hurt? Do you need me to... Kate managed to smile ruefully, holding up one hand. I'm fine. You just knocked me off my feet a little. Oh my god. She swept her off her feet. Oh my god. Okay. Wait, where are you going? To pee. Can you bring me back a Coke? Oh my god. In my McDonald's cup. Okay. Wait, no, I'll get it myself. I don't trust you to do it. <laughs> Here, play. No. Play. No, you play. Damn play. Play. No. Play. No. Oh god, you got it all in his bed. That's what I'm saying. Go get your Coke. It's right there. <coughs> God. I don't think she has. I think she's only seen, she's only really said crap, which I don't think really counts. <coughs> hey, bro. Come. No. Because I'm sleepy.
into her. Uh oh. What? She's a klutz. What? Melissa, what Max, are you? Max is a klutz. What are you ruining? I ruined everything. Yeah, she. Uh, Kate has said crap. <laughs> yeah, that's. It much. was intense. <laughs> I am. So you should open your curtain because it's like the dark ages in here. In a. It's actual... gonna blind you. It, it's, it's gonna get hot. That's true. Well, not well. Maybe the air will come in. There you go. There we go. I am so sorry. I'm such a klutz. Kate shakes her head gently. No, I probably should have knocked first. No, Kate, you never have to knock, girl. You just come in my room whenever you want. <coughs> and I should have been looking where I was going instead of texting. Kate raises both eyebrows. Texting while walking. I hope you don't text and drive, Max. Oh my god. She says it with a smile, but I can hear her underlying concern in her voice. <laughs> There's a direct correlation to those who text and walk and text and drive at the same time. Max really wants to have x-ray vision. She's like, time travel? Okay, that would be kind of cool, but x-ray vision, though. <laughs> Never, I promise. I don't even have my license. No Mad Max on the road just yet. That makes Kate laugh a little. Well, that makes me feel better. If anyone's going to kill you, Max, it's going to be me. <laughs> After a beat, she looks down at her shoes. Sorry for getting in your way. We can talk later. She takes one unsteady step out the doorway, and on instinct, I gently put my arm oh. around her. Whoa. What? <laughs> Literally. Uh, Kate, can we take down your 80 pictures of Jesus? I feel uncomfortable giving it to you while he watches. <laughs> Kate's like, whatever you do to me, you're doing to Jesus. <laughs> oh, God, Kate, that's not helping. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Maybe you should sit down. Kate shakes her head while she finds her footing again. No, you were going somewhere. I don't want to be a nuisance. <laughs> Girl, I was going to your place. I look away, rubbing the back of my neck. Yeah, about that. Kate sighs. I had a feeling it was something important. Sorry I messed things up. Oh, Kate, little do you know. No need for her to feel guilty. I give her shoulder a reassuring squeeze so that her eyes meet mine. That is actually why Kate is there. <laughs> so much neck rubbing. Max is like just rubbing the back of her neck until she can rub Kate. She's like, ugh, I yeah. guess I'll have to settle for my neck because Kate needs to get all up in this mess. <laughs> You're right, it was something important. I was actually on my way to see you. I wince a little, embarrassed. I had been so concerned about Kate that I didn't pay attention and ended up hurting her. Not one of my best moments. Mm. But after a moment, Kate's face brightens and she stands up straighter. Really? What was so important? Good, she's smiling again. Do you want to sit down and we can talk? If you're not busy. I'm never too busy for oh you, God. Max. Yes. She's like, Elsa, thank God we can stay in your room. Now only your selfies will stare at us and not Alice. <laughs> Alice is a judgmental little bitch, Max. You're going to have to deal with it when you get with me. <laughs> I keep my arm gently on her shoulder as she walks over to the little couch in my room. I know she said she felt okay, but it never hurts to be careful, right? And it was my fault in the first place. Kate doesn't seem to mind, though, not even when said couch is too messy for her to sit down. She nudges me with her arm. I can see you weren't kidding about your room being a mess. Give me a break. I've been busy with the contest. Yes. She's trying not to laugh. <laughs> Offended Max PNG. Look, Albert Einstein had a messy desk, and he won a Nobel Peace Prize. Clearly, I'm clearly destined for greatness. Kate's smile gets bigger. Aww. Aww. Well, I knew that already. <laughs> yeah, Alice is like, Judgment Day. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. <laughs> I turn my attention to the couch so that I can shove some of the clutter to one side, and also hide the huge blush on my face. I change the subject. You're, um, you're sure you don't need the nurse, or? I'm fine, Max, really. You really are a guardian angel. There she goes, calling me an angel again. I get the same feeling of warmth in my chest that I did yesterday. Kate's like, and I've always wanted to fuck an angel. <laughs> 
felt funny in my pants during those lessons at church. <laughs> oh my God. I sit cross-legged on the floor beside the couch, looking up at Kate in disbelief. You sure you want to go on record with that after I just viciously headbutted you? She rolls her eyes, pushing my shoulder playfully. Yeah, yes, so stop trying to get out of it. And while you're down there, let me just move my skirt and panties out of the way and just get to it, girl. <laughs> I can't help but laugh a little. Okay, I'm not. I just don't want to let you down. I'm not perfect, you know. She looks surprised at me. Nobody's perfect. I know that. Why would I expect you to be? I shrug. Kate has a lot of faith in me, and it's been nice having her around me so much. I just don't want to mess it up. I don't see myself as the most reliable person, I guess. I can be lazy, and I have trouble making good grades sometimes. <laughs> what are some of my flaws? I'm too perfect. <laughs> Beautiful. And I'm clumsy as hell, just as I demonstrated. Oh my god. She's like every rom-com female lead. That's I'm just so class. clumsy. Oh, goodness. It's not adorable at all. <laughs> Kate just listens, not saying anything. <laughs> when she's sure I'm finished speaking, she leans forward and gives me a kind smile. Max, that's not exactly what I mean when I call you an angel. Oh, it's not? Guess I went on that tangent for nothing. Oops. Wow. She shakes her head. No, what I mean is, well, besides the fact that you're always looking out for me, I know you're a good person. You have a good heart, and you use that to help others. Like with me, I couldn't believe that you asked me to be your partner in the contest. I was letting all those hurtful words the jocks said get to me. I did a good job hiding it, but I was a mess. Unconsciously, I shift a little closer to her. She doesn't look like she's going to cry, but just in case. Oh my god. Aww. I know. I'm sorry I didn't. It doesn't matter now. Your words mean more to me. Same goes for all of my friends. But I am so grateful that you reached out and helped me. She gives me a small smile and I return it. I'm glad that I could. We sit in silence for a few moments, not saying anything. Kate has the same expression on her face from earlier, right after we took the photo. You okay? She looks like she's thinking hard, her eyes focused on her folded hands in her lap. I'm fine. Just wondering something. Go. Always sin. <laughs> Is that why you got all quiet earlier after we took the photo? Kate wraps her arms around herself, troubled. You noticed. I feel a little bad. Kate obviously didn't want me to know something was bothering her. I had a question for you, actually. And I want you to be honest with me, Max. Not a problem. The last thing I want to do is betray Kate's trust. Sure, what is it? This might sound silly, but it's important that I know. I know it was a last minute idea, but why exactly did you ask me to be in the photo? She still hung up on that? Maybe I had shaken up her confidence somehow, asking her out of the blue like I did. Remember what I told you in the diner? I mean, look at your drawing, so colorful and happy. You know how to bring pictures to life. You proved that today. She shakes her head. I just couldn't believe it. Nobody's ever asked me to be in something important like that, so I was a little nervous. Like, I wouldn't be good enough, but it was pretty cool. I'm glad she thinks so. I shrug. Like I said, you brought it to life. She looks down at me, finally, smiling. I guess so. It was sweet of you in any case. She still doesn't seem convinced, but I'm sure that I would have been able to get a special photo like that with anyone else. I wonder if I could say anything to help her realize that. I didn't really think about it. <laughs> Thank you, racers. <gasps> Touched by an angel! Oh. Is this angel gonna touch me? <laughs> Honestly, I didn't even have to think about it. Kate hums softly in agreement. She's humming. Oh god. I know you didn't. We improvised, remember? I smile an inch closer to her and my shoulder touches her bare leg. Ooh. I can feel her shiver slightly, but I try not to think about it, even though it makes my heart beat a little faster. Girl, shit's get getting... It, Max. Get it, get it. I mean, like, it just seemed obvious that you should be in the photo. For some reason, I'm having a hard time gathering my thoughts. Because of her fine-ass legs, though. <laughs> Focus, Max. You want Kate to hear this. You were so right when you said that there's more to you than people realize. I've gotten to experience that for myself. You're so much stronger than people think, even when you were sad. You still wanted to help me. It inspired me when I wasn't sure if any photo I could take was contest-worthy. 
You did the same thing with the kids. I think it's awesome that you inspire them too. Especially that little girl we took the picture with, Cheryl. You knew just what to say to calm her down. Max is literally too gay to think. <laughs> Max, Max, Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. <laughs> So when it was my time to take the photo, the thought of you in it just clicked in my head like you were the missing piece. Aww. Her delighted smile makes me look away. I'm grinning too much. I focus on my photo while I talk. Max is too gay to function. She really, truly is. So yeah, I'm really glad that you were my partner this week and not just because you're a great artist. You're an amazing person too. Kate is dazzling. <laughs> So, don't ever think that you don't matter. I feel a pair of my arms wrap around my shoulders, and then Kate's warm cheek right next to mine while oh she hugs me God. from behind. This is gay as fuck. Like, this is amazing. Yeah. I think I understand now. Thank you, Max, so much. Her gentle voice ghosting over my ear makes me melt a little. Oh my God, are they, like, recreating the scene from Ghost? <laughs> Where he's, like, helping the her make the pottery? Yes. yes. My face has got to be just as warm as hers, but I don't care. It feels great. Since I can't hug her back from my position, I squeeze her hand with one of mine. We stay like that for a few blissful moments. Oh my god, this is like gay as fuck. After a minute, she gets to her feet, standing fine on her own. Looks like she's feeling better. I should probably get going. We have a big day tomorrow. I get up as well, touching her arm gently. Don't be nervous, okay? The dog is barking at the sand. The dog, is, the dog senses the sin coming. Kate shakes her head, smiling. Why would I be? Her confidence sets me at ease, too. Just making sure. See you later. Kate exits, shutting the door behind her. After she leaves, I collapse on my bed, grabbing Captain and hugging him to my chest. It has really been a good week. There is so much gay touching, mate. Like, yeah. seriously. Friday. Oh, my God. Aww, that's cute. Adorable. Hella best friends. Hella best friends. Um. Okay, we read that. We headed over to the hospital first thing in the morning. Kate was excited to be back, even so soon after the last time. She makes me want to take up volunteering. If it makes her this happy, maybe it can make me happy too. I started to think about how entering the contest with Kate as my partner has benefited us both in ways that I didn't predict at all. I had so much fun yesterday, the kind of fun I can't have with Chloe or with Rachel or with any other friends. Of course I love them all, but Kate has a unique view on the world and a kind of strength I didn't think I don't think could find anywhere else. Later, Breezling. Bye, Breezling. Later. Thanks for joining. So even though Kate wasn't expecting it at all, I wanted her in my shot, and I put her in it. Of course, she was really reluctant about it, and I had to convince her, but I got her to agree. I didn't ask her to pose, she just did her thing, and guess what? It turned out great. Better than great. It actually turned out amazing. For once, my photographer's instincts were bang on. Maybe I've got a shot at this career after all, wink wink, nudge nudge, but for reals, the truth is, I don't think it was all me. This photo only worked so well because of Kate. I was really happy about the contest photo Kate and I took, but I hadn't been able to get her sad face out of my head. I decided to go check up on her. Except Kate had the same idea and we wound up literally bumping into each other. I thought we both concussed ourselves. I made her sit down and we started talking. It turns out Kate was worried about being in the photo. I tried to think of a way to explain to her that she's the reason the photo turned out so well. She basically brought it to life. And I let her know. Kate seems to kind of doubt it. It makes me feel sad. These bullies have really affected her. Also, wait. Max drew herself inside of her teacher? <laughs> like, wait a second. She's like, mixed dog, I cut a hole in your neck and I spy out of your chest cavity. Max is a serial killer. Max is a serial killer. Oh my god. <coughs> she's so special, and she's so much stronger than I ever knew. I feel bad for thinking once that Kate's needed my protection. She doesn't. When she calls me her angel, she doesn't mean she needs me to watch over her. 
I think she just wants me to walk beside her, and I'm more than fine with that. That's really cute. <laughs> Where's the skin of your enemies? <laughs> and then cover it with mustard. <laughs> I show up to Mixed Dog's class early the next day, and half of my classmates are already at their desk. Look <laughs> and be gay. Yes, Raiden. Looks like everyone's anxious to hear the results. Kate's here too, and I'm surprised to see Dana sitting close beside her. I had no idea that they were even friends. Oh, is that new? If, does Dana sit beside her in all the other endings? I don't remember. Oh, I don't think it is. The picture book that I bought for Kate the other day is in front of them. They're both grinning ear to ear, looking over the pictures and talking excitedly. It makes me happy to see Kate enjoying her present. It makes me happy to see Kate so carefree again. A complete 180 from last week. Dana notices me and nudges Kate. Kate looks up from the book and stands up, waving me over. Dana gets up too, smiling in my direction, and then winking at Kate before swiftly moving to Juliet's desk. What was that about? Dana is like Little Miss Matchmaker. Literally. I love Dana. Before I can give it any more thought, Kate's standing right in front of me. How's it going, Kate? Okay, I barely slept a wink last night. Excited to hear Mixed Dog announce the winners? I'm hella nervous, but I choke it down for Kate's sake. She's starting to wring her hands, focusing on the floor instead of me. I guess it's just... You don't think you made a mistake, right? Letting me be in the photo? What are you talking about? It looks great. You don't think so? Kate's quick to correct me. I do. It's a beautiful photo. I've just been thinking. I know I'm not the most popular person in Blackwell right now. And I never have the best luck. No one wants to come to my Bible study. And then I get rumors spread about me. What if I jinx this too? I can feel the hair on the back of my neck rise defensively. Aw, oh, Kate, don't think that, Kate's boobs. You guys are loved by everybody, especially me. <laughs> don't feel so droopy and sad. Aw, oh, Kate, no. Did one of those bullies say something to you? I know it's best to give Kate her space, but I seriously want to find those assholes and exchange a few words, not so nice ones. Don't worry, Max. I actually haven't heard from them all week. She actually smiles a little at that. I can tell it's a big relief for her and me. I never want to see Kate so sad again. That's awesome. So then what are you worried about? Her face fal her smile falters slightly. Last minute jitters, I guess. I know that this contest means a lot to you. If you lost because of me, I'd feel like an awful friend. Seriously. Hug, hug, hug. I shake my head. It would be cool if we won, but you know what's even cooler? That I spent this whole week getting a great photo with the one of the sweetest friends that I have. That's all that matters to me. Whoa. Kate's eyes brighten and my heart feels lighter. You really mean that? Yeah, I do. She exhales a little shakily, but she's smiling. Okay, I'll try to calm down before Mixed Dog gets here. Poor thing, she's still nervous. Maybe I should hug. Hug time. Let's hug on it then, for good luck. I hold my hands out to her and she meets me halfway, her arms wrapping gently around my shoulders. She sighs softly against me and I can tell the tension, and I can tell the tension melting away from her. Gay. When, when you stare at anything, you can see Nicolas Cage. <laughs> if you stare hard enough, Ghostion. <laughs> I pat her on the back once, softly, before we break away. She looks much more steady now. Thanks, Max, I needed that. Just remember, no matter who wins, I'm really happy with our photo and that you were there to take it with me. <laughs> Hello, bees! We've got to find the Declaration of Independence! <laughs> Bless you, Max. Come sit with me when class starts, okay? I flash Kate a thumbs up before turning, before heading, before heading, turning away. It looks like everyone's here now. Maybe I should chat up someone else before class starts. All right, let's get this done. Who should we, let's do Victoria first. Yes. Well, if it isn't Caulfield and the Bible pusher, I'm hardly surprised you two latched onto each other. Shove it, Victoria. Can we not do this today? Excuse me? Did you just tell me to shut up? I could try saying it again if that's what you want. Oh, Max, I'm like so weirdly wow. turned on right now. <laughs> like, I'm in it to win it. Seriously, I'm really not in the mood for your games. 
And Kate's been a great partner for your information. I couldn't have asked for someone better. Um, yes, you could have, Max. You could have asked for me. <laughs> Holy shit, am I actually hearing this right? Did the hipster finally grow up here? She is! She's oh so God. turned on She's right so now. She's so into it. She, she wants you. She wants it. She... <laughs> She's like, what is this boner? I don't understand. What is this boner I'm I really have? confused by why my panties are so wet right now. I same racers. Victoria. Fine, chill. Despite what it looks like, I didn't come here only to insult you. Or I Kate. Here to hit on you. Give me a little more credit for Christ's sake. That's kind of hard to believe when the first words out of your mouth are, you know. Old habits die hard, Max. Live and let live. Stop being such a fucking pussy. <laughs> But don't think I haven't noticed how buddy-buddy you two are. Not that you weren't before. I'd call it disgusting, but you two are actually somewhat pleasant to watch. Dude, Victoria wants in. Yeah. Victoria wants Victoria into this Victoria three wants way. into that three-way. She's like... <laughs> don't worry, Victoria. You can come too. She's like, it was pretty great when I had you topping me, even though you're like, you're super meek, but the real prize is Kate Marsh. <laughs> I want her to dominate me. Huh? Anyways, I came to wish you luck. You'll need it since I'm participating after all. Oh my God. Wait, really? Well, um, thanks. I think I'm going to do fine. Especially with the help I got this week. Aw, that is, that's a really sad, like, that's a really sad, but like, Whatever That's quote. really depressing. Aww. It might have been. Aww, little Soon Soon Queen! <laughs> it's okay, you can watch us. <laughs> Especially with the help I got this week. Meanwhile, Chloe is like. Meanwhile. <laughs> <laughs> How about. Let's just. After, after we play this one, why don't we just romance Victoria again? <laughs> We just yeah, never, never ever romance Chloe. <laughs> Forever alone. <laughs> Gross. But I guess that means you're actually putting in effort for once. <laughs> Max, you're so extra. <laughs> oh my God. Max, you need to chill. <laughs> Chloe will always be better than you. Meanwhile, Victoria's like, what the fuck? I'm so turned on right now. <laughs> hey! I mean it. I'm actually looking forward to the results. So far, um, Max has been the meanest to Victoria in the Rachel Amber one of the ones that we've played. Yeah. Let's talk to Rachel. Yeah. Again, don't even talk to Chloe. No, Chloe. No, Chloe. <laughs> Sup, Max? You've been kind of MIA all week. I've been around, just pretty busy. I dig that. You're really stoked on this contest, huh? You're partnered with Kate, right? She hosts the Bible study group here, doesn't she? Yeah, Kate Marsh. Sorry, I know her name. I swear. I'm just trying to remember if we've ever really talked before. I don't think so. She's not exactly the partying type or the punk rocker type. You should introduce us. Oh my god. <laughs> really? Yeah. I want in on this sandwich. <laughs> Everybody wants in on uh, Kate and Max. I'm yep. learning. Is that not cool with you? I might be in that Vortex Club, but you know I'm not like them. Okay, she might like that. Kate does a pretty great job of looking out for herself, but she hasn't been having the easiest um, time of things lately. Yes, I'm down. Classic black hell, anything I can do? I think maybe the best thing to do would reach out and ask her directly. She'd probably appreciate that. Kate already sounds like a pretty cool chick. She really pretty is. cool chick. And she's an artist, right? Oh, is Rachel scoping out? No, Rachel is totally scoping out Kate. Like, everybody knows, like, Jesus is Jesus. 
I'm looking for someone to design me a new tattoo. You sure know how to make a first impression, Rachel. I'm just gonna take that as a compliment. That's probably for the best. Maybe I'll catch you after class, Max. We can plan a party to celebrate your big win. Thanks, Rachel. What's up, Max? Ready to glory bask? <laughs> Max is such a dick. <laughs> she didn't. For her, yeah, right? Victoria was like, I'm actually excited to compete against you because you're gonna be great. Like, Max is such a dick. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Chloe, and um, I hope so. That's the spirit. <laughs> oh, <All> look, <laughs> Rachel does like the Mr. Burns finger taps and like, yes, <laughs> Excellent. yes, Marsh Amberfield. <laughs> That's the spirit, and if you're hopeful, Kate must be stoked. Well, we both liked the photo, I think. I mean, I think she liked it. Blaze it. Dude, I'm sure she liked it. You took it, and Kate, like, totally loves you. Although she seemed kind of doom and gloom lately. Yeah, um, she has some stuff going on. Don't we all? So which of the four horsemen paid her a visit then? Should I be consulting the Book of Re Revelations <laughs> or just... Wow. <laughs> Chloe. Chloe is perfect. <laughs> oh shit, okay. Didn't know it was serious. Is she like, okay? I think so. At least I think things are getting better. I'm sure she must have been thrilled to partner with you if she's going through shit. Well, she's my friend. Mmm, I know. Though she keeps giving you that moony look from across class, I don't know how for how much longer. Whoa. Yeah. Chloe's like, she wants your D. She wants on that D. She wants on it. Mooney look. God damn it, Max. <laughs> Max, you dumb. Come on, get it together. Max, you are seriously up. so dense. <laughs> Thank you, Chloe. Thank you, Chloe. Just screenshot this. <laughs> That's all right, though. Anyway, can't wait to see you clean up today. Rachel and I called dibs after Kate on celebrating your grossly talented self this weekend, all right? You're putting way too much faith in me. No chance. Besides, the three of us need to hang out anyway. I've been meaning to tell you guys something. Something? You're just gonna have to wait and see, all right? Ooh, and we're gonna get to know what Chloe's deal is. Ooh. I know. Kate's gonna be like, by the power of me compels you. <laughs> I'll tell you after you win. Good luck. Thanks, Chloe. Talk to you later. Well, all right, all right. I know you're all excited, but I need to have you all seated. Have I got everyone's photos? Everyone's eyes are on Mixed Dog as they shuffle through the photos spread out on their desk. <laughs> That's the power of Powerade. <laughs> I'm uh, really impressed by the amount of students that have entered this year. About half of every class has put an entry in. And now with these, I can finally start deliberations. I love your well, hot dog voice. Lucky for you all, that means that you can use this period to study. The hum of chatter starts up immediately. Quietly! And then dies down with some protests and groans. I'm kind of thankful for the opportunity. I put my head down and open my textbook. But although I try to focus, it's pretty hard. I guess Kate and I aren't the only ones hoping to win. I'm excited to learn what it is. Yeah. I feel like the... It feels like the longest hour of my life. Every time Mixed Dog moves at their desk, I feel like they're about to announce the winners, and I jump a little. When they finally do stand up, clipboard in hand, I go rigid in my seat. I catch Kate's gaze. She tilts her head slightly to acknowledge me with a smile full of confidence. She's always believed in me no matter what. I don't think that will ever change. Oh, uh, goodness, this was so difficult. <laughs> I know that the deadline was short and that a lot of you have devoted much of your free time this week to your entry. I truly wish I could award more than one winner. The theme of the contest, Bonds, was a broad concept and I'm thrilled to see so many different interpretations of it here. That's what photography is all about, personal expression. Showing the world the way you see things. That said, there's only one entry in particular that truly embraced this theme. Here the photographer showcases the spirit of empathy. That no human being is truly alone as long as kindness exists. Oh my 
My heart skips a beat. Or ten. There is no way they're talking about our photo. The unique vision of this novice photographer makes me think that we'll see more amazing things from them in the future. And hopefully they'll continue collaborating with their partner. So I'm extra pleased to announce that the winners of the second annual Blackwell Photo Contest are... Maxine Caulfield and Kate Marsh! Yay! Woo! <laughs> so, <laughs> literally, I I kind of want Victoria to win every single outcome. Yeah. Like no matter what, Victoria yeah. just fucking slays. Yeah. Even if you pick Victoria, even if only she wins. Only she wins. Like Max doesn't win. Congratulations! Oh no way! Applause breaks out around us, and I can hear Chloe banging on her desk in celebration from the back of the room. Kate grabs onto my arm immediately, shaking me a little. Max, that's us! I'm shocked, but I manage to respond. I I know! Wowzer! Wowzer! Kate yeah. giggles, shaking me gently again. We won, Max! Kate, you can't <laughs> shake this baby! <laughs> I'm still in disbelief. Big Dog sticks the winning photo, our photo, up on the marker board for everyone to see. They all seem so impressed. I feel like I should be pinching myself right now. Kate wraps her arms around my shoulders, giving me the gentlest kiss on the cheek. I don't think I've ever seen her this breathless, this excited. That's Aww. adorable. Oh, Max, that's your photo up there. I smile back at her. Our photo, Kate, but mostly mine because I took it. This is so gay. <laughs> so true. The bell rings and the majority of the class stays to congratulate us. I snap out of my days long enough to talk to our friends for a while. Eventually, Kate and I are alone again. She leans against one of the desks and rubs the back of her neck. Oh, now Kate's rubbing the back of her neck. Mm, oh my goodness, that was a rush. Crazy, right? I can't believe I, we won. Kate shakes her head. I can. I've always believed in you, Max. Just like you believed in me. I guess that's what makes us a great team, huh? Oh my god. Kate's face lights up. I'm just happy to have been a part of it. She nods towards our photo at the front of the room. You're already off to a great start, becoming a famous photographer. Just promise you'll remember me when you get out of here, okay? As if I wouldn't want I'll you right there beside me. Oh my god, this is so powerful. <laughs> it's the truth, there's so much in the world I haven't seen. So many photos I've yet to take and I can't imagine doing it without Kate by my side. So many Yay. people love Kate and I think she Yay. realizes that now more than ever. I just hope that there's a big space for me in her heart too. Oh my god, this is like the gayest one. Yeah. Like this one is so like sweet, it's like just pouring sugar vomit. in your mouth. Mm -hmm. You mean that? God, it's hard to think otherwise when she smiles at me like that. Of course, as long as you want to be, there's no place I'd rather be. We lock eyes and I can tell she's serious, confident. I couldn't be happier to see her smiling so much. As I'm about to reply, she gets to her feet. Before we get too caught up celebrating with everyone, let's take a walk. I want to show Aww. you something. My titties. Aww. Where are we going? As if I wouldn't let Kate take me anywhere. Take me to Pleasure Town, Kate. God. I guess you'll just have to follow me and find out. Dude, Kate's so coy. <laughs> Kate playing mysterious is so cute. I put on my best mock offended face. Mac offended? <laughs> <laughs> and skip class? Kate Marsh, what's gotten into you? Hopefully me later. She giggles at me, crossing her arm. Class is over, goofball. I'm not quite as rebellious as you yet. It's okay. I can wait. This is so cute. I'm getting... Oh my god, literally. Take me to the church! We both laugh. I don't really care if Kate ever changes. She's awesome just the way she is. After a beat, I hold out my hand to her and she takes it, gently pulling me forward. Come on, you trust me, right? Oh my god, is Kate Aladdin? <laughs> Our fingers interlock so naturally. Always. This is Max is Snape? Okay. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yep, pretty much Rick 2000. I'm still trying to wrap my head around winning the contest. The only thing that helps is Kate's hand in mine, her gentle war feeling more real than anything. This was the coolest one. Jesus is watching us. <laughs> Jesus is I like. I really like the brick wall. And Jesus is like, what are you guys about to do? And these three Jesus fish are like, we are all watching you in tandem. <laughs> she has three She's like, I have, I have one. 
but then I thought maybe like two, like a school of Jesus fish. <laughs> I honestly don't think today could get any more perfect, but she just might surprise me yet. I have no idea what she wants to show me, but with Kate, it she could wants only to show be you her pussy. something good. <laughs> it's that song. In the, the Alice is ready. She's like, hey, I see you. In the daylight, her room is even more inviting. She's cleaned up a little and put on some new bright pictures on her walls. She's clearly feeling much better. She takes a seat on her bed, exhaling softly. We really did it. Wow. Poor thing. She looks a little overwhelmed. I put my hand on her shoulder and rub it gently. Kate's like... There is a lot of shoulder rubbing in this one. Kate's like, please put your hand lower and continue rubbing. Same. Yeah, are you okay? She nods emphatically. Yeah, sorry, it's I bet just- Kate's like a total freak in bed. Kate would totally be a total freak. It's just so strange being the center of attention. I'm not sure I deserved it. I sit down beside her, shaking my head. I don't want Kate to have any doubts about how important she is today. Wow. She's gonna like, fucking show her exactly how important she is <laughs> with her tongue. Are you kidding? Of course you deserve it. If you weren't in that photo, there's no way we would have won. Sick kids don't count. <laughs> They're like negatives. They're like negatives. Mixog would have taken one look at that sick kid and they would have been like, uh, ew, gross. <laughs> Get Cheryl out of this fucking photograph I right now. I think I now. just caught cancer from holding this photo. <laughs> <laughs> she looks grateful, but she's still wringing her hand slightly. You did all the work, though. I shrug. Taking a picture, that's the easy part. I couldn't have done it without a perfect muse. So I'm lucky I had you. Praise kink. She pushes my arm playfully, but I can see the blush creeping over her face. Oh, stop. Ooh, no, you stop. Don't <laughs> stop. Make it hot. Ah! I'm serious, it's gotta be one of my favorite photos I've taken. Way better than one of my selfies, right? She's like, Hey, I like those selfies. I like those selfies. I, you know, I like, look at her cradle Max's spiritual selfie. Do you, I touch yeah. myself to your selfies. Do, do you know how much I touch myself to your selfies? <laughs> we both laugh at that. Now she looks a little more confident. It is a special photo, that's for sure. I think that's why we won. That's the spirit, Kate. Mixed Dog is a pro after all. They know these things. The rest of the class must have thought so too. We got so many compliments on it. She smiles at the memory, and so do I. Kate was so blown away that she was having a hard time thanking everyone. I think she needed that. A little extra kindness to remind her how awesome she is. Well, duh. I think everyone liked it. Even Victoria. And you know how hard she is to impress. Ooh, Victoria, though. Whoa. Yeah, I guess miracles do happen still sometimes. I wonder why. I didn't control that miracle, that's for sure. <coughs> I'm definitely not Jesus. <laughs> She looks over at her desk and I follow her gaze. There's a vase with a bunch of cream filled colored flowers, her cream filled flowers, with a card underneath it. Literally. <laughs> Jesus three fish liked my photo. <laughs> they look so pretty, I wonder where she got them or who gave them to her. Thinking about that gives me a weird feeling. Does she have a... Kate catches me looking and grins. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I actually did hear from one of the girls I had trouble with last week. She sent me those with an apology note, and I'm dating Victoria Chase now. Aren't you happy for me, Max? <laughs> oh my god. So one less bully for me to worry about, huh? That is so sweet, and I can tell it means a lot to Kate. She doesn't like to hold bad feelings towards anyone else unless they deserve it. And also, I'm really glad that you're not dating them, because I would have to kill them. <laughs> I'm glad one of them decided to shape up, at least. Those are really nice flowers, too. They are. I think they're tulips. You can have some if you want. There's only two lips that I want. These ones. <laughs> also, these ones. <laughs> I consider wow. it for a moment, then remember little Lisa back in my room. I'd better not. I hardly remember to water my own plant as it is. Don't worry, I'll resurrect her. <laughs> Kate crosses her arms and shakes her head at me laughing. Mac, shame on you. I look away sheepishly, trying to think of something to distract her. 
Hey, didn't you want to show me something? That makes Kate's eyes light up. Yeah, that's right. I was actually going to bring it with me to class, but I didn't want to look like I was trying to outshine your, well, our photo. I smile at Kate correcting herself. Finally, she's giving herself credit, and she should. So I left this here. Yay, welcome back. She reaches over and takes a small sketchbook from her desk. Remember how I said I had some new sketches to show you? They're actually for a book I've been planning to write. A new children's book, I think. Oh, I think you're just in time for the gay. Oh god, I'm not ready. Oh my god, here we go. It's okay, are you ready? It's time. Since you've been such a gift to me this week, I wanted you to be the first one to see it. I take the sketch pad gently out of her hands and flip open to the first page. It's I'm, me, naked. It's me. <laughs> what? What is this drawing of Kate Winslet? Naked. <laughs> I'm glad to see Kate's art hasn't changed at all. A bright and colorful backdrop with two animal characters adorn the front page. Which I'm really happy Kate's art hasn't changed, because if she did changed up her style, I just wouldn't be into it. <laughs> Kate, is this buff Jesus flexing in front of a beach? I just, I'm not even mad, I just don't understand it, really. <laughs> and I recognize the cat from Kate's drawing she showed me on Monday. <laughs> Kate, actual furry. As I keep looking through it, my smile gets bigger. Everything is so cute and lively. Kate, these are so adorable. People are going to love it. She gives me a shy smile. Um, well, actually, I owe a lot of it to you. I look up surprised. Me? She turns a few pages forward, showing me a drawing of a rabbit looking sad. Yeah, your kindness helped me so much after last week. I was in a really dark place, and I didn't know if I would ever feel like my old self again. She flips to the next page. The cat and the rabbit are hugging, looking much happier. Are they supposed to be... Kate? My first son is a deer. <laughs> I thought you knew this. But you inspired me, so I decided to turn my bad experience into something good. Something that can help other people. That's why this book is about bullying, so other people don't have to feel alone when it happens to them. Aww. I look over the next couple of pages, more of the same little cat and bunny having fun together. Aww. And that's, it's okay to ask for help when they need it. Oh my god. <laughs> you guessed it, mate. I looked up from the sketch pad. Kate truly does draw, look, truly does look the happiest I've seen her in a while, and she even has some incredible drawings to show for it. I'm glad I could help, but I definitely can't take all the credit for that. You found the strength inside yourself, Kate, and that's amazing. You're amazing. Kate just beams at that. Hopefully it's getting easier for her to believe. <laughs> X-Files theme plays. <laughs> I turn the page to find the next one blank. Sorry, I still have to write the ending. I hand the book oh back to her. Oh my god, she the, still has to write the ending. The ending is that the cat and the bunny. Bow, chicka, wow, wow. And Alice is like, what the fuck? <laughs> I see your sin. <laughs> I love it so far. You'll have to Guys, let me read it when you're done. Kate isn't Jesus, it's Alice. Alice is actually God. <laughs> yeah. And Kate is Jesus. I can't wait to see what the future holds for that cat and bunny, just like Kate and I. Of course, you'll be the first. Maybe you can help me take some photos for it? I want to have some real life backgrounds too, and we seem to make a good team. Like she even has to ask. We make the best team I'm in, but if you weren't talented, you would be cut. <laughs> Kate lights up, nodding. You, can, you always want to help me, I really appreciate that. I love that about you, you know? You're such a good friend. Friend. The L word makes my heart skip a beat for a second. Lesbians? Mm. Max, you okay? She must have noticed. I shake my head, not wanting to worry her. Max, you know you can tell me anything, right? Please eat me out, Kate. She's right, and I trust her. Kate's always honest Kate, with me. I want your pussy. I want your tongue all up in all of my spaces. <laughs> so it's important that I'm honest with her now. I do know, and you know something? I have her full attention. 
Max does. She's... <laughs> I do love helping my friends, but you're different, Kate. She looks at me uncertainly. Yeah? Kate's, <laughs> Kate's like, oh fuck, did she, did she find out that I'm Jesus? She's like, does she know that I'm not of this realm? What do you mean I'm not like a normal friend? I'm like a normal- I am a normal human. I am a normal teenage girl named Kate Martian. Marsh only, Marsh only. Yeah? She's too gay to exist. I nod, smiling. Yeah, you're so kind and sweet and you're always building me up when I need it. You always want- <laughs> You don't allow me to climax until you're ready. You always want me to see the best in people. Give the most that you can. Even when you don't feel great yourself. I'm so lucky to know you. Kate's hey, face is getting incredibly pink, and she cuts me off before I can go on. Oh, uh, okay, hold on. I freeze, scared for a split second that I embarrassed her. The smile on her face relieves me. And then she busts out the little thing from Men in Black and erases my memory. <laughs> and Kate's like, that was too close. She was almost new. My secret. She was on to us. Shit. Where's all this coming from? My vagina, hopefully. <laughs> I shrug, smiling. I'm trying to play it cool, even though my heart is beating way too fast. She is baptizing her panties. <laughs> She's like, time to put some water on them. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like you needed to hear it. You inspire so many people, Kate, even if you don't realize it. Me, and spe me especially. Getting to know that side of you all week, that was the real prize for me. Kate looks away from me, speechless. What do you think, Jesus painting? Should I go out with her? Max is like, what the fuck? What the, what? <laughs> Max, you um, oh gosh. She clears her throat and looks me in the eyes. Being gay's a sin. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently I'm not, I'm still not as brave as you. You say what's on your mind so easily, but I'm still so shy. I wish I wasn't. I inch closer to her so that I can put my hand over yeah. hers. Ooh, girl! Max making all the moves. Get it, get it. Kate, trust me, you don't have to change for anyone, especially not me. But if you did want to change into this lingerie set I got, I would not <laughs> complain. I know that. You're the only one who doesn't make assumptions about me just because I'm too quiet sometimes, or a Christian. It's so hard to be myself sometimes. So many people are quick to judge me or put me up on some pedestal, but not you, and I know you never will. I'm glad she feels so safe with me. I never want to let her down if I can help it. You bet I won't, because you'll be the first one to call me out on it. Kate smiles, breaking the serious air with a little laugh. That too. Kate toys with the golden cross around her neck for a few moments, like she's uh, thinking carefully about something. Jesus. They're gonna get freaky with that cross. <laughs> You know, I'm still really glad that you picked me to help you out of everyone. I really like being around you, Max, more than anyone, really. Do you know what it feels like to have cool gold metal a shirt inserted into your vagina? Because you're about to. <laughs> I cross my arms and give her a mischievous wink. Ooh. Sure you don't just have stars in your eyes? Because I'm a famous photographer Whoa. now. Oh my Max. god. Max. Max is bringing out all my Max her. has like... I'm Dying. A game. She yeah, shakes Kate her is head. baptizing her panties for real. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, but maybe we should double check. She inches closer to me so that our legs touch. Oh it sends a jolt through my whole body. Not exactly a bad feeling either. What? She says her next word softly, and she's so close that I can feel her breath faintly on my collarbone. Whoa, that's like. Wow. That's like hot as fuck. <laughs> so, Max, can I kiss you? Oh, oh yes! Boom, clap, the sound of my heart, the beat goes on and on. What? I, um, my heart is doing so many flips that I can barely focus on my words. I mean, I know the answer, but oh my god, Kate just... I hate that I'm stuttering like an asshole, but Kate is so patient, her kind hazel eyes never leaving mine. Finally, I managed to blurt out an answer. No, Baka, bye. <laughs> Max runs out the door. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. cute. They're the, look at them. They're Eskimo kissing. They're too cute. I know they're not. Gross. I just realized they are Eskimo kissing. Well, they're gonna like real kiss because like they got like the kiss face. Max's thumb is like gonna stop. Yeah, Max's That's thumb so is like, Max's thumb is like, so 
suck on my thumb. What? I just want a kit. No, suck on it. It'll be great. Oh, <laughs> look. Look at this little Jesus fish. Like, here I come to join. I want to be part of this sandwich. Let me in. We both grin like a couple of dorks, and I can't stop myself from leaning in. Her lips on mine feel soft and warm, just like Kate has always been. After a moment, she sighs gently. She sounds so happy because Aww. of me. Aww. I'm gonna I, explode. I've, I've, I've already exploded. I feel one of her hands on my cheek. I did. <laughs> on my cheek, pulling me in closer, and then both of my hands are on her face, like we're on the same wavelength. I can feel her gentle hum of approval through her cheeks, making my heart do somersaults in my chest. That Max's kink with Kate is definitely nose. Aww. I open my eyes just in time to see hers flutter open. Her fl face looks even more precious up close. Aww. Kate opens her eyes late after kisses. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, definitely sure. <laughs> I try to think of something clever to say, but same. <laughs> Same. Hashtag same. Same. Max just says, me as fuck. <laughs> me, af. Feeling daring, I kiss her right on the tip of her nose, making her giggle. She's like, oh. I'm so into noses. I guess Max's that makes... Is putting her nose places. I guess this yeah, makes me much. more than a good friend. I hope so. I mean, you're much more to me. Chloe's kink is bondage. My face actually hurts from smiling. Oh my god. This is so adorable. Mm -hmm. Oh it's shit, no! Wait! <laughs> Whoa. Aw, oh, I guess you're stuck with me then. Aww. Aww. This is like watching ten puppies and kittens just like <laughs> interacting and like loving. <laughs> and rolling around on the floor. Kate puts her arms around my shoulders and leans in to nuzzle the crook of my neck and I draw her closer oh instinctively. Aww, they're like... Nuzzle buddies, that's so cute! Oh god. Her breathy laugh against my skin makes my heart skip again. But this time I'm not nervous. Somewhere between high and completely at peace. I could so get used to this. 420 blaze it. <laughs> <laughs> she sits up straight and looks at me, her smile practically angelic. That doesn't sound so bad. Are you oh sure? Oh my god. You know I take way too many dorky selfies, right? Oh, this is so cute. Kate grins slyly. Well, I do some dorky things too. I like to steal my girlfriend's jackets when I get cold. Can you live with that? Oh. 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 Everyone leave us. I need to be alone. <laughs> You're playing this on 420. We were debating doing Chloe because it's 420, but then we were like, no. We decided to praise it's, it instead of We blaze. decided to praise it instead of blaze it. <laughs> oh my god, this is too cute. Oh god. Like, yeah. I'm explode. Yep. I'm gonna die. We're praising it on 420. Well, I do some dorky things. Oh god. Ah, uh, I forgot how cute. I think we can call it even. Oh my god. I squeeze her hand playfully. I'm sure it'll spread some rumors though. You show up to class wearing my jacket after we just spent the whole week alone together. What will people think? Kate rolls her eyes, shifting closer so that she can rest her head on my shoulder. Let them talk. It doesn't bother me anymore. Besides, I think I could live with a rumor about Kate Marsh and Max Caulfield being in love. Oh, oh this is so cute. Escándalo. This is too cute. I can't handle it. Oh my god, I'm like dying. Like, all of my teeth have fallen out. Just the sound of our names together makes me feel ridiculously happy. Critical levels of adorable gay. Literally. Me too, and the best part is, it wouldn't be just a rumor. <sighs> I am so dead. Like, this is the cutest. The best part is I actually get to hit that. Literally. Kate tilts her head upward to look at me, reaching out to touch my cheek as a big grin spreads across her face. This time, Kate pulls me in for a kiss. Hallelujah! Oh my god. Oh, wow. Praise Jesus. Max is like, I believe in God. Take me to church! <laughs> yes! Wait, did she actually say it? No, that was the achievement. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're gonna need church. <laughs> oh, I love that that's the fucking achievement. That oh was fucking god. amazing. That was 
That was so adorable. Yeah, that was too adorable. Like, like I can't handle how that's adorable unfair. that was. That was too pure. Like, like what? What? Like I feel my skin is clear. Yes. I feel it, the sky is brighter. <laughs> Everything is different now. That was way too cute. Oh my that god. Was adorable. Yay, Erin Erinijo, thank you for following. Little zombie man. <laughs> oh god. Oh, thank you for coming and helping us uh, choose all the right choices, cuz. <laughs> same, I get nosebleeds all the time, ghost. They're the worst. No prop. Thank you, everybody. Thank beautiful. you to the people who made the game. Thank you, everybody, for helping and watching. Oh, let's see if we can find. Can we look at the um, the like the extra photos? Is that something that's here? Do we have to unlock it? I don't know. We well, we might have unlocked. Gavin. Oh my god! Not safe for work. Follow up comic. Save that link. Oh yes. Beep. Yay! Thank you. All right, let's do this right here. Boop. Copy. All right, I'm gonna, let's look through the, oh, I have a bunch of links that people sent while you guys were uh, getting food and stuff. So here, hang on. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is the rooms gallery. We missed this one. I think this one's Victoria's room. Yeah, because we didn't get the one where we go in Victoria's room. Yeah, this is all the, this is probably the alternate locations you can take pictures. Mm-hmm. Um, Contest photos. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Wait, there's more contest photos than people. Endings. Aww, oh, look at yay. 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 yay! yay! Bonus. Aww. That's really cute. <laughs> Rachel, Amber, and Lisa. I like that. <laughs> yes, it's so good. Two contest photos per. Oh, that makes sense because you take it at a different location. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Thank you, the gadget fish. Yay! Yay! That's really cute. That's, That's really amazing. I'm is... dead now. Goodbye. How are you doing, Mariah? Are you gone? I'm. This was too gay for me. Was this too gay? Was it critical mass gay? Critical mass of homosexuality. All right. Okay. This was okay. Return. What's preps? Oh, preferences, duh. Wow. wow. <laughs> Good job, Shut up. buddy. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with us. It's super fun to stream these, and these are, this game's amazing. So, um, yeah, I think we're gonna cut the stream off here, and we will be romancing Chloe next next <laughs> maybe point, if she ever. did it <laughs> well, we're just gonna end it here yes. chloe will never get loved <laughs> but yeah so far i can't decide if kate marsh or victoria is my favorite i think that victoria is actually my favorite kate marsh is like super duper sweet but yeah, like that was really fucking cute i don't know i don't know cool. melissa what's your favorite one so far I still like Victoria. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. Mariah? I can't decide. Okay, I understand. Me. Cool. But yeah, thank you guys so much. I'm going to end the stream, and I'll see you next time. Uh, I'll probably post on our, my Tumblr and or if you get notifications through Twitch on when we're going to do Chloe's next. Right? Yay. Okay. Bye! Oh god. <laughs> it's too late. 420 already blazed. <laughs> Max get some fucking bong shit. Wow. I, I don't know. Shut up. I'm gonna go now. Bye. Bye. <laughs>